Okay, audio check. Quick check. I accidentally switched scenes. Oopsie.
definitely welcome in. Um, I went out yesterday, like, I went to the mall and shit, and, dude, I did not see my sunburn till now. Oh my god! Sorry, you can, you can kind of see, because I wore, like, a scoop neck yesterday. You can see, like, a little bit. Oh, like, okay, it's not that bad, but... Oh my god, I didn't realize I got that burned Yes, Okay, it's not that bad. It's honestly not that bad. Yeah, it's not bad. <laughs> it's because I forgot to put on sunscreen. Oh, uh, anyway, I, I did not see it tonight. Like, I, it's not as visible in my viewfinder, but I have the color settings adjusted for my screen on cam. But... <laughs> Dude, I don't think I've ever... It looks like when someone slaps me there, yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm fine. I just got shocked. He's like too... Wait, what was this? Gasp? Okay. <laughs> I can't... Yeah, yesterday I literally... We went out to lunch. And then we went to the mall. And then like... Because I, I don't know how to drive, so I take the bus and shit. So you gotta walk to and from the stations. So I guess that's where I got burnt. Um... Yeah, so we can go ahead and get started. You wanna notice unless you said something? Yeah, I mean, it's fine. I mean, I noticed it. <laughs> okay. Um, so I kinda wanna show you guys what I got yesterday. I got this shirt. It's actually kinda cute. It, like, fits me perfectly. Look at it. Isn't it cute? It kinda looks like a baby doll, but it's just a shirt, okay? It's nothing crazy. And I also got, cause, like, I decided to treat myself yesterday. Oh, I woke up in ice. Or lemon, because, like, technically, I get my Twitch payout for July next week, so I <laughs> I spent all of it yesterday, because I went for a K-Barbecue with a friend, and then we went to the mall and shit. But I was like, you know, Maggie's gonna treat herself, so I got this keychain. Oh my god, so weird. Isn't it cute? I usually don't like the fan art type stuff, but this one, it looks like it's you're grabbing it. Like, the design is intentional. Like, it looks so cute. Um, sorry about that. The cheap keychain was fucking ten dollars, and it's bros being hung. Fuck off. Like it's kind of cheapy. Like, you, like you can't touch it unless you open it, right? But it's like, it's really cheapy. But you know, it's fine. It's whatever. It's cute. The design is cute. And then, oh my god! If you guys follow me on Twitter, you would have seen this already. Oh, I'm trying already. Go follow my Twitter. Um. So afterwards, we went to Walmart because I was like, oh, I need to buy stuff for stream on Friday because we're doing the bonus of gold cookie decorating stream on Friday. Um, so I was like, you know, I'm I'm going to buy cookies, I need to buy some toiletries, I need to buy icing. So I came home and I bought literally everything but fucking cookies. <laughs> like, I bought icing for cookies, I bought some, like, decorating tools, but I didn't buy fucking cookies. <laughs> Oh, so I have to go to the store today again. This is gonna be another, what, two hours out of my day because I don't have a car and I can't drive? I was so mad at myself. I was- I was really mad. Um... Yeah, that's the only real updates I have. I have a few, like, little story times and, like, random thoughts that I gotta save for when we actually play the goddamn game. What?! Oh, fuck! Sorry. <laughs> so, um... My friend, I don't read Boko no Hero, sorry, they just texted me. So, like, they'll text me and, like, tell me, like, major updates and scores, because I'm, I'm literally never gonna read the manga. And, dude, they just texted me, like, something fucking crazy. Dude, oh, no. Oh, no. I saw that, yeah. Guys, follow me on Twitter, you'll get tweets sometimes. Um, okay. I have a few things that I need to share, because I have a few announcements. And before I talk about the big thing... Uh, where is this? If you aren't already, go follow my... My Instagram! Uh, I'm gonna try and post them more, because as you guys know, I got a new phone, and the camera is... Impeccable, okay? So... I'm gonna try and post more on IG. I posted some of these pictures on Twitter already, but not all of them. But guys, go follow me on Instagram. Here's a little sneak peek. Because, like, I went out biking, like, super early in the morning, and you can kind of see, like, the sun ray, like, in that first picture. You can see the sunbeam right here. Oh my god, it's so pretty. So guys, guys, go follow my IG. I'm gonna try and post there. Uh, I'm not gonna see, like, an exact schedule. I'll try and go for, like, once every two weeks. Because, like, I'm not confident enough to take pictures of myself. Cause, okay. I think it's cringe when people put, like, just selfies as their posts. Like, I would love to have, like, a friend, like, take some nice pictures of me. I think it'd be good. But yeah, I'll post here more often, so go follow me on IG, guys. 
it was really nice to bike in the morning because I think it was on a weekend. I think it was on Saturday. And there was a lot of people out on the trail, so that was kind of annoying. But <laughs> otherwise, it was a good time. It was a good time. Okay, another thing. Chatters, you guys know we are going to do our second Meg Esports event, which is going to be an Animal Crossing fishing tournament. So this is going to be on this Sunday, the... Um, 14th, it's gonna start at 11, it's gonna start at 11 on the dot, so I'm not gonna spoil too much about what the rules are going to be, but anybody who wants to participate, um, please bring a few extra fishing rods and a boatload of bait, because even though, um, a <laughs> collab with CJ, dude, me and CJ, we're gonna co-stream, <laughs> it's gonna go crazy. Hi, welcome in, Coke, so pretty well, hon. Uh, so this is going to be Sunday, so like I said, similar to last month, can I bring stuff for other people? I don't know. <clears throat> I mean, uh-huh. I don't know how that'd work. Like, I oh yeah, you can bring extra bait, that's cool. You can bring, like, like communism, you know, everybody donates. <laughs> sure, sure, sure. Because I think I have... I think I have, like, 200 bait in my storage, but I don't know how long we're going to play for. So I think 200 should be enough, but still chatters. Bring your own extra bait just in case. Um... Like I said, I'm not going to go too far into the rules because I don't want people to cheat, but essentially, do not bring fish as cheating because not all challenges will be the quantity. There might be some challenges where you have to catch specific fish. There might be some challenges where you got to catch the size. So do not pre-bring fish. I have rules in place to avoid that, so guys, don't do it. Don't cheat. Um... <clears throat> what is it? Yeah, so I'm gonna try and work on a new Meg Esports exclusive skin, or like exclusive item, so guys remind me, remind me, for the love of God, on Sunday to show it on stream, okay? I'm not gonna forget again. Um, so gentle reminder, this is going to be on Sunday, so viewers can come in via Dodo code. Right here in the replies it says, viewers can join via Dodo code, which will be shown on stream. Um, what was the last thing? Oh, another thing I wanna say, is I know we have a few chatters who also stream themselves, so if people want to stream their POV of participating in the tournament, feel free. Um, I think that's totally fine as long as you're not restreaming my stream. I think that's totally fair because you're showing your gameplay. Um, if anybody wants to do that, because like I said, I know we have some other streamers in the chat room. If you want to participate and stream your POV, just put peace in underscore 17's Meg Esports Fishing Tourney event. And then put your username POV or something like that. I think that'd be interesting because, um, like I said, I know we do have some streamers in the chat room. So if anybody wants to restream their POV, go for it. You just have to make sure it ties back to me somehow. Sorry, that was a lot of talking. <laughs> okay, so I think that's all the big announcements we have for now. Um, now I wish I stream. Why? <laughs> so you, you can eat all clout? Kinda mean, kinda cringe. Okay. So, I, I know Mac, you talked about the Animal Crossing thread. We'll, we'll look at that earlier when we actually play Animal Crossing, because I don't know how many Animal Crossing frogs we have now. <laughs> okay, so let's get started. Yeah, I don't know if I'll like officially announce that people can restream. I think it's fine to do it. I mean, I don't know if anybody was doing it anyway, but I think it's strange because like it'll lead to more exposure for me indirectly. Like, I can understand. Okay, can't believe I'm like imagine. <laughs> I welcome in Titans, hope you're doing well. Okay, so... Wait, anybody want to choose my character? Anybody want to choose it? Oh, I almost got a 3 star in that one. Damn. Okay, well, I don't want to play 150, because 150 is boring. Anybody want to choose my character? Anybody? You're going to be so good for this month's tournament? Exactly! Dude, if Mac gets top 3, that'd go crazy. Hi, so welcome in. Big man Bowser, okay. Fine. I hate this. <clears throat> okay, so I think I'm gonna start off practicing the new DLCs because I didn't get to play them over the weekend because I was out doing shit. <clears throat> okay, guys. 
first prediction is up for the day. Do you think I will get top or not top three first place? I change. I slightly changed my um my overlay here because I wanted to be more transparent, but because I hated the dark gray background. Oh, also chatters. So I'm going for it today. Let's see. Did I fall off? I'm at one twelve. Gold today is gonna be one twenty. <coughs> Every time I go to play Mark on a stream, I need to like relearn how to play. It's kind of a problem, because I don't play much offline anymore. Okay, that line wasn't that bad. Oh! <laughs> I tried. I tried. Yeah, because, like, I see, like, other streamers have the same overlay I have for the predictions, but it's transparent. And I think it's because I use Twitch Studio and not, um, OBS, because I think the extension is specifically for OBS. So it's frustrating that it's gray, but I kind of fixed it a little bit. I might have to see if I can get another link or something. It's just annoying. Whoa! Where'd that green shell come from? Yeah, OBS is fine. It's just, like... I don't want to learn a whole new UI yet. Like, I, I can't handle that right now. I mean, one day I'll transfer over. A nice try, War. I'm in third. Yeah, I can come back. Ah, damn. Okay, it's because I fucked up some turns. It's totally my fault, but you know what? <laughs> it's fine. We're warming up right now. I already got a three star in this trophy or in this puri, so it's fine. Nobody worry about it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Why didn't I vote? I don't know. Aren't you working? <laughs> okay, Chatter's new predictions of Kogamba. I'm at a meeting right now. Yeah, I won't snitch. No snitches, everybody. No snitches. <laughs> okay, this one I actually have to concert on. Um, I use Twitch Studio to stream. I use Stream Elements for my bot alerts in the chat room, and then I use Streamlabs for on-screen um, alerts. For some reason, every time I try and do like the Stream um, Elements bot, like the alerts on screen, it doesn't work. Like for some reason, it doesn't work, and it's frustrating. And like, I know that Stream Elements their alerts are you, there's a lot more like. Customization you can do, but they just don't work for me. I don't know anybody uses Twitch Studio. I know I'm a fucking pleb, but <laughs> I think it's because I don't know why. Like the integration to where, but it's because like I can access all of my Twitch settings straight through Twitch Studio, so like all like my video manager that type of shit. Um, I didn't know it was a thing. Yeah, it's in beta. That's why like sometimes stream is kind of fucky because the beta will glitch out sometimes. Like remember like a month or two ago how like the chat box would lag and then like the scenes would freeze so that's because twitch studio was bugging out but oh my god <laughs> like it's fine now yeah it's definitely not as flexible or as complex or what, what's a nice way of saying it <laughs> as good as obs but i'm kind of the point where like i really don't want to switch over my scene <gasps> come on Dude, I sniped him at the end there. First, baby. Fuck the doubters, man. I kind of like the challenge of OBS. No, I, I don't like... I like having life easy, okay? I like cruising. I don't like conflict. I think Twitch Studio is really good if you're, like, getting into streaming. Because, like, the UI is very good. Like, it's very easy, very user-friendly. 
<laughs> hey, next Gamba's up, go predict. Okay. <laughs> ignore that, ignore that. Is there any way to avoid the train on this level? Or on this stage? Why do I keep saying level? Yeah, I'm gonna hold on to the red just in case. But what if you don't stream on Twitch? Then don't use Twitch Studio, that'd be D-O-N. <laughs> I mean, honestly, who does not, or who doesn't stream on Twitch? I, I know controversial. Like YouTube is coming up out of the shadows, but I think Twitch is still gonna be the prime location for streaming. Oh god, oh, dude, that was unfortunate. I ricocheted right there. Cause like, I know some people do like restream their Twitch stream to TikTok when they have the, I guess their stream key, but. To me, I don't see the benefit to um, restreaming to a second platform when you're still live. Because to me, the whole point of streaming is to interact with your chat room. So if you have two platforms that your stream is on, it kind of doesn't make sense to do that unless you already have an established platform. Because, like, I hate when I go to a TikTok live stream and it's them just restreaming their POV of them, like, over their shoulder streaming on Twitch. And it's like, it's just boring. It's not entertaining to watch. Yeah, those people just want to grow it. To me, it rubs me the wrong way. No! God damn it. He robbed me at the end. Damn. I was looking for earbuds, but I found chocolate at the shop. <sighs> Dude, I got robbed at the end. Like, I know it's good to grow to restream your, like, on other platforms, but I don't know if... That's the right way to build an audience. Because <clears throat> like I said, if you're streaming to multiple chat rooms and you're not giving your full attention to either, I feel like it's taking away from the actual viewer experience. My take. Controversial, but true. I just only now realize how many subs you have. Yeah, the subs are only kind of crazy. <clears throat> Guys, I'm famous. Yes, exactly, Mac. Way too base take. People think big numbers equals a real community. No, it literally doesn't. That's why, like, I hate the people who just base um, their opinions on people based on, like, their follower count or their viewer count. Like, I- it's kind of like when you go to a stream and they have, like, a hundred viewers and their chat room is, like, dead. Like, you don't know how many of those viewers are, like, actually participating in the stream or- Oh my god! Or... God fucking damn it. Or like genuinely enjoying the content. Cause like, we talked about this before, I don't mean to like shit on lurkers, but for me, as a user on Twitch or a viewer, I think in order for me to fully enjoy the content, like I have to be a chatter. Cause to me, if you're watching a stream and you're not engaging to some capacity, it's kinda like watching a YouTube video. I mean, there's definitely streams where I do lurk more, like, i.e. like a bigger streamer's chat, like a Hassan or a Mispick chat, but I like, still like emotes them a little bit. I don't know. It's just, I know like, lurkers don't like being called out, but that's just my opinion on shit. Ah! <laughs> oh no. Dude, I looked at chat for a second and you guys ruined me. I'm a 10 time champion winner, guys! Hi, David. Welcome in. Hope we're doing well. Okay, this is only lap two. I thought it was on lap three, and I, got, I was getting scared. <gasps> I dodged the pinball, but I hit a banana. Dude, two of those greens hit Luigi. I know! Literally, I totally feel you up. Like, I was watching- I was watching Miss Kiss watching yesterday, and- <laughs> Cause during the VOD you can't chat, like you, you can't. And I was I was like, I was getting ready to like type on my keyboard um, in his chat room, but I was like, wait, this is a VOD and I got really sad. <laughs> Dude, I hate this turn. Ah, get fucked. Dude, I thought it was in second already. Meg chatting and driving, no. 
I think as I was watching the stream, I was playing Animal Crossing or something. Yeah, especially when a polar prediction happens. Literally, like, I think Miska's stream yesterday was based around the concept of... Because I think they had a bot. It was... If anybody watches Miska or, like, OTK content, they did, like, their... I guess quarterly um, shareholders meetings, so they all, like, do bits and they usually have, like, a big announcement at the end. And, like, they had a bot to where people could type in corpora sell or corpora, corpora buy. Because, like, the whole shtick they were doing is, like, people could type in the chat room that whether buy or sell. And then they had, like, a live overlay to show how much their fake stock would be worth. And it was, like, the funniest shit. Because, like, any time, like, somebody said a real joke, people would be like, Corpa buy! And any time, like, something, there was, like, a low moment or something that people didn't like, it'd be Corpa sell! And it was, like, the funniest shit. But, what I get? I got first, guys! <laughs> I don't know how you youngsters drive nowadays. Me neither, man. I don't know how to drive. I have no idea how I'm gonna learn how to drive. <laughs> Dude, I've thought about it, and I think I need to be learning how to drive on hold for now. Like, I don't really have the money for insurance every month anyway. So I think I'm gonna wait till like September. I think August is a bit too soon for me. I'm gonna try- I'm gonna shoot for September. Oh, fuck. See, like, that's why I'm so scared of the happening, Mac. Like, I know if I drop, I'm gonna have to put on Do Not Disturb. Like, because I know I'm gonna get distracted by it, and, like, I don't want to hurt myself or anybody else by, like, looking at a text. Like, even, like, how people can have, like, their Bluetooth speaker connected for their phone in their car, or, um... Or how they have it, like, attached to, like, the dashboard. Like, people still use their phone. Like, I don't get how that's still safe. Or, like, the cars that have, like, the iPads. Like, on the dashboard, like, the, the Teslas. I don't know. Yeah, anybody want to choose my character? <laughs> you should ask your instructor how much Mario Kart equates IRL. I mean, what a driving be so cool if we had like a, a controller or something in the car okay, anybody want to choose my character wendy okay you can talk on the phone but you can't be touching it see like it's dumb like <clears throat> I I don't I don't get it. I don't get it. Cause like I think any form of distraction is bad. Like I think what I'm gonna have to do is like I'm gonna have to keep my phone in my bag on silent. Like I can't I can't do it. See my parents they have a GPS like an actual GPS in the car. I was hoping somebody would talk about Wendy's. You know. I thought about it this morning and I was very tempted to like order breakfast. Like I was this close to getting delivery, but then I was like, nope, I don't need it. I don't need it. And like right as I was about to like order, I went in the kitchen and I saw that my dad made fried rice for breakfast and I was like, oh my god, this is a treat. So I saved 30 bucks today. Cause I spent- I spent way too much money yesterday! <laughs> oh my god, I was also so like fucking pissed off at myself because after we went to lunch we kind of like roamed around and we stopped by like this Ricky Ding coffee place and I was like, ooh, they have Italian sodas! And so I got one for me and my friend. I tipped the girl 10 bucks because I was like, let's be nice. So like I paid 20 bucks because so their, their drinks were like $5 each. So basically $10 is like a 100% tip. Cool. Let's go meet. Um, and as she's making the drinks, because I asked for no ice, and, um, <laughs> she put ice in my drink, and then you could tell she was annoyed, because she, like, angrily dumped it out into, like, the sink, and I was like, fuck, so she re- she, um, she remade it. And then she asked me, as she was, like, halfway through making it, she's like, do you want cream? And I thought she meant, like, whipping cream, because I thought that, um, Italian sodas by default have cream in them, but apparently not. So I got my Italian soda, and it had no cream in it, no whipped cream either. Well, Cause like, I thought she meant fucking whipped cream. 
So I just, I paid $5 for sparkling water and like four pumps of syrup. I felt literally so D.U.M. And it's because like, I didn't hurt, I, I thought she meant fucking who whip and not the goddamn cream. And, <laughs> oh wait, I was going the wrong way. It's okay, you're famous. No, I'm, I'm literally a Megalol. But I need to figure out how to make this line tighter. So, I got- I was so fucking mad at myself! Cause I was like, I- I paid five dollars for just some soda pop and syrup. <sighs> so mad. And like, I didn't want to go back and like, ask for Kareem cause I already knew that I fucking annoyed her because I asked for no ice and she made it wrong so she had to remake it, like... Cause like, I've been there, I've worked in service, so it's like, I get how she feels, you know? But then my friend was making fun of me, they're like, how oh, you dumbass? <laughs> he was like, you know, you. she asked you if you wanted cream and you said no, I was like, true, it's my fault, like, I can't get too mad. <laughs> you accidentally ordered three boxes of breadsticks? Fuck. See, like, it's one of those things where it's obviously miscommunication and you can't, like, re it because you know you said the wrong thing. I don't know, man. <clears throat> I just need to get better ears, maybe. Hey, guys, go Gamba, go Gamba. I appreciate the Lurk Titans. <laughs> Sorry, I thought I had more time. I mean, Pizza Hut breadsticks are kind of dog shit. I think they're like the worst fast food breadstick, TBH. They're kind of bad. Easy, got him. Okay, controversial, but I think Little Caesars is pretty solid. I know it's cheap and bad for you, but I love how saucy the pizzas are. I love their stuffed crazy breadsticks. Dude, the, the crazy breadsticks go so hard. They are so good. And I think it's because, like, my parents would get Little Caesars all the time because it's cheapy. Dude, I think my- the favorite item they ever had, like, the promo item, I think it was, like, an Alfredo pizza and it had, like, chicken nuggets on it. Not actual chicken nuggets, but, like, pieces of chicken that were breaded and it was so good. You like the pizza breadsticks, really? Okay, I might have maybe worked at a hut of pizza. And... So I kind of know a bit more about everything, but the thing with like pizza breadsticks is that they're always like overcooked and dry. It's because they're cooked at like the same time and temp as the pizzas are. Wait, no, I think they're put in- wait, fuck. I can't remember. I didn't work in the- Oh no, fuck. Oh, god damn it. I didn't work in like the actual kitchen too much because I was like from counter. Oh no. Oh no! God, end me. I'm sad I can't get Wendy's breakfast right now. Me too. Big Sag. They should have breakfast all day. Man, Coach, you doubted? You? I thought you were like a diehard believer, but you know what? You got points, so screw you, honestly. <laughs> okay, let's look at my list of topics. I, I've been... Riff raffing for too long. Oh! Okay, anyway. Pred prediction is up. Go Gamba. I believed in my heart, sure. Keep telling yourself that, man. Okay, I want to get good at this track. <laughs> I, saw, I saw this one video this morning on my YouTube, and it had like near, nearly a million views, and it's like, what's missing from Mushroom Gorge? And basically on that part right there, there's like a third mushroom, but they don't have it in this version. And also here I saw you can- Oh! You get a parachute! Wait! Hold! No! It's gone. But you know, it's still in first. Dude, that could have been an insane skip. I need to try that again. Saw that video too? Yeah. I was like, what is it? 
And I got so mad watching the video because like they didn't show it, of course, till the end. And I was like, I feel like I wasted what 40 seconds of my life. Dude, did I really miss the red shell? No, I think I got it. It got boomed. Yeah, I don't think the parachute can carry that me that far. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Oh wait, I'm in first. Okay, I'm good. I'm not mad anymore. Oh, there it is. You have to bounce and then trick. Okay. Should I go for that? Skip again. <laughs> should, I, should I go for the me- Ah, oh, good. Never mind, I guess we can't do it. See, I think I was going a little bit too crazy with my lines. I'm going too fast. Damn. I, I was tryharding a little bit too much there. Next prediction is up. I have to delete Uber Eats. I can't do this. Yeah, this is what I did. You just have to delete all third-party delivery apps from your phone, and then you're set. You're solid. You'll never order food again. See, I, I did that, and then I realized you can order on desktop, too. <laughs> yeah, I agree. The camera on this track is kind of wonky. It makes me want to yak a little bit, but the more I play it, the more I get used to it. This part right here, I don't like at all. Trick! I take this track sucks. I mean, it's fine. It's not the best. I think this is new for... I think this is a totally new track, that's why. We're just not used to it. I'm trying to think if there's any tracks, like, similar to it. I agree. In comparison to others, it's not the best. But it's fine. <gasps> no, this is the worst. Oh wait, I didn't realize- fuck, I thought I was gonna fall off. I didn't realize I could be saved. Everybody ignore that, that did not happen. <laughs> Second? Nope, third. Not today. Okay, should I try online now? Third is still good, yeah. But not with computers. That's like shameful. Should I do the I reset if I don't get first run? That, that'd go crazy. Because I think the last time I did it was back in May. Look at that icky silver trophy. Guys, I was gonna strip. I was. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I was gonna skip stream today. Because, like, I was so fucking tired. Because yesterday I did a lot of walking. And like yesterday I woke up. Oh, anybody want to change my character? Um, yesterday I woke up and like the whole left side of my body was sore, so like walking did not help. And I woke up this morning and I was like, I cannot get up. But you know, I'm here. So we'll see how it goes. Can anybody want to choose? Hmm. <clears throat> 
Let me? Okay. And like, I promise I'm fine. It's just like... I notice on days where I am more physically active, the next day is like, bad. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, the prediction, guys, is changing from first to top three, okay? Top three. <laughs> Gambiters, don't remind us going from the prediction is now for top three, okay? I'm actually queued up. Okay, cool. The 69 and believe and doubt. Good job, chatters. Good one. This is, I thought this was a mirror. Oh, I usually- I hate this path. Did you say something bad, Mac? <laughs> Oopsie. Dude, I hate that line. Oh, it is mirror! No, is it? No. I think so. Maybe? I'm confused. <laughs> Yes, it is mirrored. Okay, it is. Come on, I'm right by him. There we go, easy. kind of funny because like I understand that messages need context but it'll it'll catch some of the stupidest shit sometimes like I, th I think it's still funny how like shut up or um lamau is still automated <laughs> because for some reason I can't remove it from like the list of terms Koopa okay we'll switch out for Koopa next round I'm in fourth? I'm, I'm not doing that bad. Damn. <laughs> no way. My god. I have no items, there's no way I can come back from this. Literally no way. <laughs> I fell off. <laughs> Sad cry. Yeah, chat is ignore that user. They just got banned. So ignore them. Okay, let's go again. <laughs> I take back my hello. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's fine. Guys, if you see any sus usernames, just ignore them. Obviously. They're botted. Yeah, ask away, Mac. Ask away. Miss the chatter? Yeah, exactly. Portrait or landscape? I it don't matter. No importa. 
Hey, Chad, let's go, Kamba. Yeah, like I said, guys, if you see anybody that seems sus, just ignore them. Got another fucking mirror mode? I hate this shit to... love it so much. You know what else I love? Watching ads. No, it's way too it's way too early for an ad break. <laughs> uh. <laughs> okay. I don't know about you guys, but I firmly believe in the concept of finders, keepers, losers, weepers, okay? So the reason I bring this up is my parents my parents they went to the farmers market the past weekend and my dad he found this ring. It looks like an engagement ring. This is not a diamond ring. It looks like it looks like an opal ring almost. I'll show it on cam in a second. Um, but he found it like just laying on the ground, and he, he and he took it because okay, if it's like a wallet or something, then we'll like report it and like bring it to a police station or something. But like something like a ring, you know, if you lost it, it's your fault. Okay, that's, that's my opinion. And it doesn't fit my mom, because she's got nice dainty fingers, but I got a meaty one, so it fits me perfectly. So, is it bad if I keep it? Because at this point, because, like, there's no, like, lost and found we could have brought it to, because it was at the farmer's market, so, like, they don't have, like, a station for that. So it's like, should I keep it? Yeah, I would say so, exactly. I think it's fine if I keep it. And like, in my opinion, I would never bring something out in public that I want to lose. Like, okay, any future partners literally don't ever buy me a ring. I think buying a ring is literally dumb to pointless. Like, it's way too expensive, and like, we're gonna break up anyway. <laughs> so, I would never wear, like, expensive jewelry or a ring. I never would. Oh, you're saying it's bad to keep it? Fuck. Shit. <laughs> Less waste in the landfill? Like, honestly, it probably would have gotten, like, vacuumed up or something. Because they have, like, sweepers go through after the market. Okay, here. I have here. I don't know if it'll focus on it, though. It looks kind of cheapy. Like, the way it's cut, it looks like plastic. Like, it doesn't look like an actual gem, but it kind of looks like an opal. It looks, like, plasticky. I don't know. Controversial, but I think I'm gonna keep it. And, like, not that I'm gonna wear it often, either. But, like I said, it's kind of too late to bring it back. I think I would feel differently if it was like a diamond ring, because that would be probably like someone's actual like wedding ring, but... I don't know. <laughs> Imagine I instantly get a hate thread. <laughs> That'd be sad. I mean, like I said, I think like... If it's a wallet, I will definitely report it. Because that's like someone's ID, that's someone's money, but a ring, it's like... Mm. Mm. That'd be cringe if people actually did it. Yeah, I don't I don't think I have haters right now. The ring owner, peace I two punch. I mean, I think my punch would be harder because I have a ring on. <laughs> it doesn't- yeah, exactly. It doesn't look like a marriage ring, so I think it's fine. Like I said, it looks cheapy. Like, it's not gonna show up on camera, but the way the gem is cut, like... You know how you see, like, the cheapy rings from, like, the gumball machines and, like, the gem looks, like, plastic? It literally looks like that.
Oh my fucking god. Believers are gonna eat it if you win. Well, I'm probably not going to. I mean, maybe I have a chance. I know for me, I don't necessarily care too much about like aesthetics or traditional relationships. Like, I know if any future partner like buys me a ring, whether it be for like engagement, like anything of that matter, like I don't appreciate those type of things. Cause I'm like, why, why would you spend so much money on me? I don't like the idea of that ever happening. <gasps> oh my god, game changing! Lifesaver second blaze! Um. Cause like, I think it's kind of like cheesy to buy somebody a ring. I don't know. Like, it's definitely a nice gesture, but I, 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 I told myself, any future partner, if you want to buy me a ring, like I need to go to the store with you and buy it. Like, I don't want you to buy me. A ring that looks ugly. You know what I mean? <gasps> Just get a ring pop? Yeah, I mean, it's kind of cute. Kind of cute. Damn, look at that, guys. I got a first, a rare W. Now it's 11 time champion winner. You're cracked. I know, right? Kind of crazy. Hey Raven, no problem. I appreciate the lurk hunt. Hope you're doing well today. And like another thing, talking about like engagements. Like you ever okay, you ever see the videos of people like doing this big, like extravagant thing and they engage and then the girl says no? Isn't that like so sad? Like I would I would never like never want to be proposed in public or like even like the promposals too like it gives this unnecessary pressure for the person who's being proposed to to like say yes like honestly it's such a power move <laughs> when like the girl says no because like it just feels like you're kind of forcing them to say yes you know what I mean so also any future partners don't you dare fucking propose to me that's cringe I would say no like, I feel like that's a conversation you need to have. Like, not as a group, but together. You know what I mean? Oh, no, Koopa Troopa. Oh, sorry, thank you, Issa. I forgot. <laughs> I'll change the next race. I mean, not that I'm scamming, but... <laughs> I agree. Proposing in public is very cringe. <laughs> the plot twist, I'm never gonna be in a relationship, so that'll never be a problem. Easy. I'm on my incel arc. <laughs> Dude, I am literally nobody. What the fuck? I mean, like I said, I think the gesture is cute, but it takes away, like, to some capacity, the ability for the other party to feel like it's a genuine response. I don't know. I'm a cynic. Love isn't real. No relationship equals no pressure. Yep. Dude, I literally know marriage is a trap. <laughs> I mean, I've thought about this too, but I don't think I want to get married either. I mean, I'm young. I'm, I'm 23. Like, that's a long ways ahead of me. But the idea of being, like, financially tied to someone is a lot to think about. I 
I got caught off right at the end. I could have had a 10th, but I guess not. This is what I get for keeping the ring that we found, okay? It's, I guess this is karma. I mean, it's definitely, like, easier filing your taxes. Because, like, my parents, like, their taxes is fucking easy. But otherwise, I'm like, I don't see the appeal. <laughs> the shame. <laughs> And, like, think about how expensive a wedding is. You almost got married as a teenager? No. Oh, no. Well, good thing you didn't. Okay, now I have to concentrate this race. This is literally my worst track. He's like too skip. Yeah, guys, what other um, 17 V emotes do you want to see? Because I, I know the meme is to be like P side 2 and then a word, but like what do we want like actually most to be? Because like I said, if there's any moments from stream that look like they'd be a good animated emote, clip it. I'd probably marry for more FASPA money. I mean, are you more likely to get benefits through FASPA that way, really? <sighs> That's what you were gonna do? Fuck, Mac. Dude, trying to scam the system. SMA did. Hi, Deacon. Welcome in. Also, only share what you feel comfortable with. And also, you don't want to make other chatters uncomfortable as well. I'm not doing good at all. <laughs> no! My god! What is going on? You know how there's like a really mad emote? There should be a really sad... Aurora list? Fuck off. I searched for hours... On what, Sunday I think it was? But I couldn't find her. We'll, we'll go through that RP thread later, but it was a sad day. At least I didn't get fucking last, my god. On my L arc, I guess. You know who else is gonna take L's? People who are not subscribed, because guys, we are an in the stream, so it's time for me to run a few minutes of ads. You can avoid that ad break by subscribing for $4.99, just $5. Skip your copy and get ad free viewing all month long. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so guys, you can sub for free with Prime. It's totally free. You get a Prime sub every month if you link your Amazon to your Twitch account. So, guys, sub with Prime. It's free. Anyway, get some water, get a snack. We'll see some of you guys in a few. We'll continue with Mario Kart after the break. <laughs> I love clips. Yeah, you should learn how to clip lemon. That'd be great. Okay, next prediction is up. Go Gamba, guys. Go Gamba.
Thoughts on Glee? Never watched it. I have no interest in watching it either. You didn't eat on the last track. I know. See, I played the game. I didn't just watch the game. I experienced it. So it hurts ten times more. Another cliche thing is to like get your gold flowers. I never understood that either. I mean, it's definitely like a sweet gesture, but I'm not the time to enjoy gifts. I don't like when people spend money on me. Like, I'd rather buy stuff myself. And like with flowers too, like they die after a week. Like, not many will keep well. So, are you saying that your love for me is gonna die? Like, huh? Okay, but something that was cute was one of my old co-workers, um, every Saturday they would go to the farmer's market and he would buy his girlfriend flowers every single week. And honestly, it was kind of sweet and cute. And like, he would bike to work, so he would bike home with like a huge ass bouquet of flowers. And it was adorable. But I wouldn't like it if my partner did that. <laughs> Guys, don't sub anymore! She doesn't like money or gifts- No! No, that's not what I meant! I don't like when my partner buys me gifts, but I like when randoms on the internet do. I heckin' love when people subscribe. <laughs> I don't know what my love language is. Um... I don't know if that's something that I want to share, because I feel like that's a bit too personal. I'm in fucking last! But I'm definitely like... I like hugs and that type of thing. I'm like, oh, dude, I am so fucking cringe. I'm like, we're like, I'm like the gross couple who shows way too much PDA. That's me, and it's fucking bad. That's as much as I'll share. They ended it? Yeah. <laughs> you can dry flowers and eat them forever. True. True. Damn, I fucking hate online. They said you're too slow. No. No, I'm just too good at the game, guys. Wait, there's two of the same guy. They're hacking. Their hacker man's hacking. Believers are starving right now. No, I promise you, it'll get better. It will get better. Hey okay, guys, go gamba, go gamba. Like I, I'm definitely the person. I like time together. I think at its core, you have to be comfortable with your partner. Like I will have fun like going to the gas station, as long as I'm spending time with them. You know, I'm not the type of person who's like extravagant gifts or we don't need to go out all the time. I mean, not saying that I'm easy, okay? I'm very picky. <laughs> it's just, once I find someone, if I enjoy spending time with them, I think that is a lot more valuable. Dude, what even is it? But if they give me fake flowers, does that mean their love for me is fake? Am I just reading into everything too much? Am I the problem? Am I the bad guy? <laughs> oh my god, fuck off! Dude, there's really no way for me to win. Maybe if I get like 5 million bullets? <laughs> I have a joke! <laughs> it's really bad. It's really bad. I 
was gonna say five billion bullets, that's way too easy to get in America, am I right? Oh no, what the fuck? What did I do? Angie peace and no. Uh, my real friends know I'm edgy as all hell. I just don't show it on stream as much. Because I feel like you lose some contextual things with edgy jokes, and... I don't want to spread some narratives that are negative. The joke? No, it was funny. Wasn't it funny? It's it's funny because it's real. And sad. Get me! Dude, I hate everything. Are there more people playing now because the DLC? Is that it? Is that the problem? Should we change the prediction to top six? Would that be better? <laughs> You're, oh my job. Oh my god, I have a joke. Is your IRL version of Slash J? Yep, that's what it is. That's exactly it. No, I, I think it's funny to preface with that, that way you guys know I'm trolling. Hey chat, go gamba, go gamba. Yeah, Automod is sus. It's kind of annoying. Because I can approve words, but then it automatically removes words from the approve list after like a month. So it's like, what's the point? But Autobot is also pretty good. It puts less stress on me and mods. Okay, there's only seven people in here. So the odds of me getting top three is doubled. I think nearly impossible and I'm clutch here. Okay, wait, can we talk about how I got first earlier? That was actually kind of crazy. Came out of nowhere. Oh wait, I think that was on the map where I, I got, everybody got bolted and then I had a star. Please get top three. I'm gonna try my best, okay? I'll, I'll finally get a dub for the believers. I can do it. Yeah, you're right. The prediction when I did get first, that was actually kind of crazy. Dude, I targeted the wrong guy. Guys, first place? You don't like when the mods say hi to you? I don't mind it. I think it's nice when other chatters say hi. Um, I know for me, if I'm in a stream that I'm regularly in, I usually will say hi if it's a person I know in the chat room or if it's like a name I know. But it is kind of awkward when like multiple mods say hi to you. I know some people think it's inviting, but it, low key, high key is kind of intimidating. Like, I know <laughs> if it's a channel I mod for, um, if it's a chatter that I don't necessarily like, or a chatter who's, like, kind of edgy, I will sometimes say hi to just them. That way they know that a mod is watching. I think that's partially the reason why. Um, I don't know. <laughs> like, I think everybody has, I guess, their own level of comfort. And it's very hard, like, as a viewer or a streamer to, like, understand everybody's own comfort level. The mods are here to fight, yeah. Come on, get somebody, please! Dude, the Okay, there he spun out. Top three, top three. <laughs> if it's a normal chat, I'm just like, uh, hi, rolls eyes. Dude, you're- that's kind of mean! They're being nice to you! Oh, come on. There we go. Top three, maybe. Now I just need to hold. Oh, 
You are the worst fucking item. <gasps> yes, look at that! <sighs> Guys, look at that second place. Another dub in my book. I'll take second. That was epic. Okay. I mean, I think it's weird. Okay, I think it's weird if I'm not a regular in a chat room and people say hi to me if I don't say hi first. I think it's kind of weird. I don't know. It's just for me that I don't necessarily like as much. <laughs> Took me a while. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Deacon, that's so funny to me. And now I don't shut up. <laughs> um, Talking about mods answering questions that chatters ask the streamer. Um, I think it's... Mm, I'm on the fence about it. Because, like, I think if it's a question that's commonly asked, I think it's fine. But... Like, for example, if somebody asks, like, Oh... Streamer, what days do you usually stream? And then, like, a mod answers or something. I think that's fine, because those are, like, FAQ questions. But, like, if it's questions concerning, like, the streamer's interests, like, what's, oh, like, oh, what's your favorite character? Or what's your favorite ice cream? And, like, somebody else answers, I think it's kind of a weird jam. That's why I potentially know to be scared. No! Nobody should be scared if you're coming in. My chat room is nice, right? You said to smile, you guys are super nice. <laughs> Fuck me! Oh my god! I think as with anything, it depends on the situation. <sighs> no, we should not restart the punch meta. That was the most cringe meta. I w guys, you guys are so fucking cringe sometimes. Like, I'm editing a VOD for um, TikTok, and it's from the month of June, and we got a stream where we got two raids, and the meta of the day was Peace I 2 Punch. And you guys were like, let's punch the raiders! And then whenever, like, the raiders came in, you guys went Peace I 2 Punch, and I'm like, oh my fucking god, you guys are so cringe! If anybody was here for that stream, that was back in June, I think. Like, I'm, I was, <laughs> I'm watching, like, the VOD, I'm like, oh my god, you guys are so... Annoying sometimes. <laughs> we are so funny, sure. Keep telling us of that. Why can't we just peace I do smile and vibe all day? Why we gotta peace I do punch? Me and Mac are the meta abusers. Yeah, I mean it's fine. I think I think playful spam is fine as long as it's not mean. We're all zoomers. What do you expect? Yeah, actually true. I feel like Hassan brings up the analogy that his chat room is just a daycare, and I feel like that's what I am for you guys. <laughs> they see your clips now, and I'm like, deja vu. I mean, that's part of the fun. I think that's another thing I like about how um, the clips on like the YouTube or TikTok are a few months behind. It kind of makes me relive that moment. Like, I kind of remember what I was thinking during that stream. Come on! I could have gotten a fifth, but some motherfucker threw a green shell behind them. I do not like them. I didn't, I'm not gonna say I hate them, but I do not like them. Please choose Sydney. Guys, I need to get another dub. Okay, go Gamba, go Gamba. New prediction is up and running. <laughs> I, I I know what you're talking about, Deacon, and I think your I think your chat message didn't really make sense or something. I'm trying to think of what it was. It either didn't show up in the clip, or I don't know what it was. I could have if I would have like found the message, I would have put it on screen. What should we do when raiders come in? 
Dude, you, if I literally said, look, at the end, my chatter say hi to the raiders, spam peace I to yo or peace I to vag. It's not that hard. <laughs> Probably, yeah. I mean, I felt like you were actually calling me out, Deacon. I was like, oh shit. Okay, so I need to not trip on that first ramp. That's the problem. He said to drama farm excuse. No, 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 no. It's only drama farming when both parties have clout, okay? I'm, a, I'm still a Humego. I, I have no influence. Why is he targeting the wrong fucking people? No, we're not gonna punch the raiders if we have raiders. No, 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 no. We want them to come back, okay? Or we want them to stay in this dream. If we peace like two punch all the time, they're gonna leave. We'll never come back. Oh, is your dream to be in a clip? Yeah. I mean, it's pretty cool, huh? That's part of the attraction to, like, interacting in the live stream. You might get to see your- You might be fired for a TikTok clip! Oh my god! Okay, that line was a lot better. Okay, those lines were pretty decent. That sounds pretty good, Tynes, my god. Are you taking pro chef <laughs> applications? Dude, imagine being rich enough to where I could have a personal chef. That'd be crazy. Just like, imagine how much time I'd save. Yeah, I would cook more, but I don't have a lot of freedom in the kitchen. Cause like, my mom doesn't usually let me buy groceries. So big sag. I hate this bike sometimes. Like, it's so easy to change the direction of your drift. I like the mechanic of inside drift, but it's kind of frustrating sometimes. Okay, top three copium. No, like sometimes, like, I can buy like snacks and stuff. It's just she's like, if I buy too many groceries, she's like, oh, you know, I need to save room for food for everybody. And I'm like, okay. And me, just fucking and me. Change the bike build? Never. <laughs> Am I seeing someone fancy gaming? I mean, maybe. <laughs> Make a meal for everyone. True. But I have no money. <laughs> like, I, I can't buy, like, enough groceries for everyone. It's like, oh, I almost put top three by accident. Oopsie. I would have scammed everyone. I was tricky. Just in general, my parents are very controlling, so. It'd be like that. Oh my god. A vegetarian risotto? My god. Hey, chatters, go Gamba, go Gamba. See, like, I thought about it, and, like, I think I could eat the same food every day and be happy. As long as it's, like, food I like. Like, there was a time, I think it was a month ago, like, I would eat... I think it was rice, eggs, and cheese every morning for breakfast. And then I would make, like, a sandwich for lunch. And, like, that was pretty solid. <laughs> Deep clean beans and toast every day. I mean, that's all the Brits eat, isn't it? <laughs> Katana's go Gamba, go Gamba. Look at this. I'm in first. Clip this. I'm in fucking first. Now I just need to hold. 
Why would you regret a peanut butter and jelly? Like, they're pretty solid. The only people I know who don't like peanut butter and jellies are people who don't like peanut butter or jelly. And my sister, she hates both because she's a fucking psychopath. How does one not like jelly? Like, I don't get it. Okay, controversial, but I hate chunky peanut butter. It's like, I don't want to buy into a sandwich and feel like there's rocks in my sandwich. I do not understand the people who like chunky. Creamy all the way. Because every summer we make our own jams, so I don't get no cheeky-ass grape jelly. I get the nice homemade jelly. It's pretty solid. Like, my grandma, um, she'll make guava jelly, jelly every year, and it's fucking bomb. Different people like different textures. True. But I'm being exclusionary. <laughs> Controversial, but true. Dude, that made my catchphrase. <laughs> Bye, Wolf. We'll see you next time. No! No! This is my downfall. This is what I get for being... mean. First streak? Um, I don't know. I don't know, dude. Yeah, homie jams are pretty good. Um, we usually mail them out to family members every um, Christmas time because we usually make cookies and then we mail out our jams. This year, because our cherry crop got kind of fucked, um, we had a very limited supply, so we, we didn't have enough cher cherries to make jam. So we just handed them out to our neighbors. So I think it was last week we made some jam and then we also made some um, concentrated juice, which is basically just like boiled down fruit, but we don't add any sugar to it. Did we ever do a farmer's market? No, we don't have enough product for a farmer's market. Um, and for our area, in order to be, like, in the farmer's market, you have to- It's kind of, like, crazy. Um, you have to, like, apply to it, and you have to make, like, a little presentation to show the city council that your wares are good enough to sell in the farmer's market. Like, it's very, like, hard to get into. And I think the daily fare is, like, a hundred dollars every day to have a stall. So, kind of not worth. <laughs> they are gatekeeping, yeah. But, um, because one of my neighbors, she tried to, she was going to apply and sell, like, um, these, because she had, she made, like, glass beads at home. So she was going to sell jewelry made out of those, but, um, one, she didn't have enough product, and, um, her presentation wasn't good enough, so she didn't get approved. It was kind of, it sucked. Like, they're very, like, picky with what they let be sold, I guess? I don't know. But, like, you go there, and there's, like, these motherfuckers. Like, okay. I'm gonna be mean for a second, okay? Like, you see people who sell, like, really simple, kind of, like, ugly-ass looking, like, vinyl shirts, or, like, the really cringe-ass, like, vinyl panels you hang on your wall, and it's, like, or, like, the people who, like, put vinyl on water bottles, like, those types of things, I think there's limited craftsmanship to it. That, that's what I don't like about it. Like, it's different if they're, like, making the illustration or making the design. But if you're just cutting out a vinyl on your Cricut, like, this really, like, cursive QT text of, like, some cliche phrase and just t pasting it onto a water bottle, I think that's so lame. Yeah, it is kind of tacky, and it's like, it doesn't require actual craftsmanship. Like, it's really... Like, anybody can do that. Like, I don't... I don't get it. I would never spend money on shit like that. I think it's also partially because I have a cricket, so I understand how easy it is to make products like that. Dude, I know, right? They're so, like, ego. They think they have, like, the best shit, but it's like, bruh, it's literally just your motherfucking cricket, and you just pasted some cringe-ass cursive font onto a water bottle. Like, it's not inventive. It's not creative. Like, I understand people wanted to make money for themselves, but I think in order to be successful, you have to have, like, an original product or a concept. Like, some normies might like it. The people who aren't crafty will think you're amazing, but it's not... It's not that good. I think it's different if... <laughs> Like, you're a crafter yourself, so you kind of understand, like, what you need to make certain things. Guys, I'm in fourth! Imagine 
I'm going on this huge rant where I'm being bullying, but I'm in fourth. Is, is this good karma? Okay, bad karma. I got a fucking piranha plant. <laughs> Live, laugh, punch. Exactly. Dude, should we make that merch? <laughs> you know what? I get a... I whip out my cricket. <laughs> Just make live, laugh, punch. Dude, that'd be so cringe. No! No! God damn it. I could have come back, but I didn't. Big Sag. Dude, why am I coming in with such, like, hot takes today? I am looking to start fires today, I guess. I would buy merch. Maybe. I talked about this before, but I'm not launching merch until I can have like I, I can have like an actual production company. I'm not gonna go through third party. No way. Your <laughs> peace sign to Udi, that'd go crazy. <laughs> Cause like, um As we're like walking through the mall, because like they have a few like anime shops, they got a few like fan fan like type shops. Um and, like, you can look at every product and see, like, the quality of, like, the fabric or the actual, like, print. And, like, some of, like, the shittier, like, vinyl prints were, like, $50. And it's, like, you know the sweatshirt costs maybe, maybe $5, $10. And they're marking it up to, like, $50. That, like, all the YouTubers who charge, like, $50, $70 for a hoodie, it costs them, like, nothing. And it's like, I don't want to scam people like that. Like, I'm not selling anything unless I either make it myself or I know it can be ethically made. Like, I don't think it's appropriate to upcharge that much for goods that cost barely anything or like less than like 50% of your actually selling cost. I think it's disgusting. Because, like, a big way that creators who do have a larger platform make their income is, like, either sponsorships or merch. Or, like, touring. Um. And it's, like, for anybody who does choose to go down that path, like, I think you have to make sure, like, your workers are taken care of and, like, everything is ethically made. That, that's, that's, like, a big priority for me. As a consumer, rather. What's the combo right now? I don't know. We're talking about ethics in merch sales. Dude, another thing talking about like selling like merch, I think it's actual scam how like public schools will make you buy a school uniform when it's like required to wear at school. Cause like, I think the, the school I went to in Hawaii, we had like a required t-shirt that we had to wear every day. Like it just had like the school colors and then like the school logo. And like that was like five dollars each and then in junior high i had to wear like a required PE uniform which was just like the summer thing and like a school t-shirt and like those were ten dollars each and some kids and some families can afford that I, I think it's unfair how students had to buy them and like at the time we didn't have any discounts for like low-income families like i only had two pe shirts and i had pe every day so obviously i had to like you know wear them twice and like that's obviously not clean or sanitary, like I don't Why not use some of the funding to give the kids the uniforms? I don't I don't get it. Oh my god! Guys, 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 dub three! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I freaked out a little bit at the end. Ethics is one of the funny things I don't understand, Kick W. Lamo. I mean, you are a troll, so when would you ever understand? Guys, we had nobody predict! Man, you guys missed out on that one. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Believers, if you would've just believed, you would've gotten a dub there. Your schools don't accept donations, really? I know our schools did. Oh, of old uniforms. Oh, okay, never mind. 
Cause like I know schools in my district, they will gladly take any donation from the community. Concerning money. <laughs> oh wait, Gamba! Get try to zoom Gamba. You think I'll get top three? I think so. Yeah, even like buying the graduation cap for school was a lot. Because um, my sister and I went to the same high school, Albi. And I think to buy my cap and gown, it was like 80 bucks almost. Because I think the cap was 20. And then the gown was about 60. And, and then you could buy a tassel too. I think the tassel was like fucking $10. So I bought all three. Because my sister, she's younger than me. And when she graduated, I was like, you know, you, you literally, you, you don't need to buy a new gown. Like, it's literally pointless. Because me and my sister, we weren't too involved in our high school. Like, we didn't do any extra curriculars. We did a few clubs, but like, we didn't participate too much. Oh, the cars move now? Oh my god, that's great. I haven't played this level since the new update. But dude, that's sick. Um, so I told her, I was like, you know, you literally don't need to buy a gown. This actual scam. Like, yes, your gown might be a slightly different shade of purple. But, you know, it's fine. Like, nobody gives a shit. You're only gonna wear it for, like, two hours and then never wear it again. So... I think she, she just bought a cap. She didn't buy a tassel. Like, <laughs> I think she wore my tassel <laughs> to her graduation. <laughs> Which I think is totally fine, because, like, nobody's gonna come up close and look at it, right? It doesn't matter if the year is wrong. Oh, dude, the people who buy, like, the graduation rings... You know they don't have a life after high school. Like, the people who, who buy, like, the class rings is so cringe. Like, what's the need to buy it? Like, are you gonna think about your high school life that much? Yes, exactly, Titans. Like, universities, when they ask for donations after you graduate, like, dude. You already took enough money from me and anyway. Dude, I hate how universities are for profit. Actual scam. Why do we have to privatize education? It's not good for the common welfare. Come on, guys. Do you think I can top three? I think I can do it. <laughs> Sag. I'm only doubting for right now. No! No! Come on. I know for my area, I live in like a suburb. So, there's usually like an elementary school like every like mile away from each other. But I think the people who struggle the most are the people who are in like the SPED, like special education programs to where not every elementary offers those programs. I know every middle school and high school does. Um, but every school, it's interesting how, cause like my mom, she works in the SPED program. Um, it's interesting how they kind of like arrange the kids, um, how they do it in our district. I don't know if this is standard, but, um, basically like they'll have like majority like hard of hearing kids at one school. They'll have majority kids who have like developmental issues in one class or in one school and then like you'll have kids who have like anger management issues in, in another school because that way each teacher or para that works at whatever school is trained in those specific areas and i think it's really interesting um but because of that like the special ed kids they take like a special bus to school like you know the cliche short bus um but a lot of them like the commute times like they have to get picked up really early for school like, I think it's nice that we do have those resources available, but... Like, some kids have to travel, like, out of out of the city to go to a specific school. And it's unfortunate that some resources are not as accessible in some places than others. Um, so the, the thing with, like, for some sped children who do stay after, like, the, I guess, normal age to graduate, or to graduate, um, they usually will, like, the high school ones, they usually will let them graduate when they have, like, um, I know for our district they don't hold them back anymore. 
and because for a lot of the kids who are in STEM programs who are in like junior high or high school, a lot of their lessons focus around like developmental or like social skills, so like learning how to like interact with other people, um, how to talk to strangers, that type of thing, or like interact with their classmates. So that's like the main focus of their curriculum. This is how it is in my district. I don't know if this is like national standard. Um, so like, I think it was a change like five years ago. They changed it to where like once a student becomes of graduation age, they still graduate on time. They don't hold them back anymore. Uh, I think in our district, the only time that they hold a child back anymore is in between preschool, no, in between kindergarten and first grade. Because kindergarten is like you learn your ABCs, you learn your numbers, but the main thing they focus on is like learning how to like act in school and like how to interact with other kids. So usually the children who have difficulty or children who are instead, they will um, hold them back here if they feel like they aren't ready to go into first grade. Um, because my mom, she works, she, she used to work in SPED, and now she works in, like, um, the transition program between kindergarten and first grade. Um, like I said, I don't know if this is, like, national standards, but that's what is in our district. Yeah, they're 21 and still in school. Yeah, I don't think they do that in our district anymore. Isn't that not so good word? Um, it means sped. That's just what they call it here. Yeah, exactly. Kindergarten is focused on, you're right, motor skills and like social skills. To capacity. Like, you know how you have like lessons where you like, you don't say sped really? That's what they call it here. I mean, it could be a regional thing. I don't know. just weird to hear uh oh <laughs> retro <laughs> mac cancels me your school didn't have a special education program really you guys use it as a slur fuck oh that's definitely a regional thing It's not a word, it's an acronym, because it stands for special education. I think I'm trying to remember. I don't know if they call it that anymore, but when I was when I was in school, that's what they called the program. It's not a good word in the UK, fuck. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! <laughs> the other day. I was watching Connery's Plants for Mario Kart, and he was taking L's too, okay? Like, he was consistently getting bottom six. So, you know, if a good player like Connor doesn't do well, I think I'm totally valid to not get top three every time. It's okay, we all have our days. I guess today is not my day. God damn it. I ate too much yesterday. Maybe that's it. I had too much K barbecue and I just... I'm feeling heavy. A blue shell? Get fucked first? Is it even gonna hit anybody? Maybe I should just never play Mario Kart again. Maybe that's what needs to happen. Maybe I should become an L streamer. <laughs> okay, check Gogamba, Gogamba. Do you think I'll get top three? But honestly, probably not.
The only thing I think about when someone says Boston or New York accent, I can only think of, I'm walking here. That's literally the only thing I can think of. <laughs> I know it's the most cliche thing, but that's all I got. Mystery boxes on this level. <gasps> oh my god, come on. Okay, not doing too bad. <gasps> I hate this bike, I literally hate it. I actually need to change my bike though. Maybe it's finally time. Maybe I need to finally listen to the people who back the game on YouTube. Hmm. Dude, I get so fucking annoyed when people like back the game in the fucking YouTube comments. It's like, bruh, do you really think I'm gonna listen to your dumbass? I I always ignore them. I used to reply and be like, oh, you know, I'm practicing, or, you know, this clip is from months ago, but I'm like, I'm not gonna engage with them anymore. They are not being actually helpful. Is I too distracted? Yeah. <laughs> That's me all stream. Okay, top six? Maybe I have a chance? Get bugged? Did it loop around and hit me? What the fuck? No, I, I repost the same clips that I post on TikTok on YouTube Shorts. So no, nobody watches my VOD channel. Like, literally nobody. Yeah, exactly. Like, anybody who backs the games, like, you're- Oops, I clicked the wrong one. You're literally not being helpful. Like, it's not helpful at all. Isn't this your VOD channel? No. Cause like, wasn't it like leaked the other day that VODs are only gonna be up for a week instead of two weeks? I mean, I have um, Twitch Prime, so my VODs are still up for two months. But I know for people who aren't Primers, their VODs will be up for less time. So guys, all my VODs will be archived on YouTube. So you should go subscribe to the VOD channel. Also, go Gamba. Next prediction is up. Lines are pretty good so far. <laughs> My God, third place. Never mind. Okay, what's kind of nice is that throughout today, I've noticed that everybody's pretty close together. Like, typically people aren't too far ahead. That's really good to see. It gives me a glimmer of hope. Fuck off, my guy. Oh my god. I heckin' love Mario Kart. 
Okay, back and forth. <laughs> nice try. You thought you were safe and protected? <laughs> okay, I have a chance. I have a chance this time. Wait, this is lap three? I thought that was only the second lap. Damn it, dude. I was doing decent that race. I was doing pretty good. I'm mad. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go again. Okay, Chad, let's go again. But I think we got time for three or four more races, and then we'll do Animal Crossing. Are you guys talking about people on bikes, like, going through traffic? Welcome to the city, exactly. You can't handle it, don't be here. Am I bad for like riding my normal bike on the sidewalk? Because in my area, it's not too like the sidewalks are never busy because everybody takes their car. And like, I just have a normal bike, I don't have a motorized one. Like, I've never been bitched at for, like, not using the bike lane. It's also because, like, there's no fucking bike lanes in my town. Like, there's none. And, like, there's some areas where there's not even a sidewalk, too. So it's like, what am I gonna do? Unless there's a bike lane, it's fine. Yeah, there's like no- there's literally no bike lanes in my town. Like, it sucks. And like, if I do go through like, a more busy area, or like, if you see like, a group of people approaching, like, I either like, pull off to the side, or like, get off my bike and walk. Cause like, I don't think I'd ever feel safe, like, riding in my normal ass bike on the road in a bike lane anyway. Cause like, if somebody even clips me, I'm dead. Like, I have no protection besides my goddamn helmet. Like, I've almost gotten hit in the sidewalk a few times. Like, walking! Like, I understand the argument of, like, if you're on a bike, you're going faster, so they're less likely to, like, notice you or spot you. But... I'm never riding on the road. You top six? Easy. Oh my god! Oh! Buzz off, mate! <laughs> oh, I should have saved my restroom. Damn. Dude, I had it! I was doing so good! Guys, I was gonna say my title is clickbait jokingly, but it literally is. But you know what? We got a second and a first today, so I think that's still impressive. Guys, roll the clip. Roll it. Somebody find it. Yeah, thankfully here in- I'm in Washington State. Like, we had the heat wave last week kind of hot yesterday, but nothing too crazy. Dude, that's crazy, Deacon. See, 
I was talking about this with my friend yesterday, and we were talking about people who don't believe in global warming or think it's fake, and like the people who deny science, obviously they're dumb. They're never gonna be willing to believe it, so they're a lost cause, right? But I don't understand the people who don't advocate for policies that diminish climate change. Because what the rate we're going at is basically irreversible, right? But we can diminish the longer terms the long term effects of climate change. Like we can make it so like our grandchildren aren't gonna fucking die. Or like they won't have to like um, move to other countries where it's not gonna be like 110 degree weather all the time. Like, you want to make sure, like, the Earth is livable. Like, I don't understand why people would not want that. I mean... Like, I can't understand why people will be like, Oh, I'm not gonna vote for climate change or green energy because it's gonna affect my profit margins because I'm a capitalist. Yeah, but like... Obviously, you're gonna die in 50 years. But like, what about your grandkids? What about your kids? Like... You want them to suffer? Like, I don't- I don't get it! Like I said, the people who don't believe in climate change, lost cause, we can't save them. But the people who don't advocate or push for policies that diminish the effects of climate change, I don't understand them. I think it's very selfish to think that way. Why do I have to live in this timeline? Oh, I know, worst timeline. Okay, I saw this on TikTok this morning about this one girl talking, um... It was a stitch of, like, this older woman being like, Dude, I don't get why Gen Z is so, like, messed up and crazy. And it's like, bruh, have you, like... Do you understand what we have, like, lived through? Like, everybody born past 2000, they have no recollection of what life was like pre-9-11. And also, like... Especially in the States, where, like, kids grow up with the fear of, like, being in a school shooting. Like, there's so many, like, underlying things that have happened in the past, like, 20 years that has taken a drastic effect on, like, people's mental or their general well-being. Like, I think it's understandable for, like, to see, like, Gen Z people or younger people be more critical or upset of their government or, like, authoritative figures. I don't know, it's just my day. Good. Yeah, I think people born in, like... The 60s to the thousands, the prime time, because like they didn't live in a time of war, they didn't live in a time of the... a mess, a struggle. <laughs> Gen Z in this cynical era. I mean, honestly, honestly, guys, I got top six. Look at that. I'm getting better. Okay, I think we got time for two more races. Two more. Americans are selfish people, exactly, like, ugh. Not to be a political Andy, but I think capitalism is rooted in selfishness. Like, I talked about this before, um, I think I shared this VOD with Mac the other day, but controversial figure Hassan Avi, like, one of the biggest leftist, um, uh, content creators, like, online, he had this beautiful, like, side tangent he went on where he was explaining how progressive like progressive policies and leftism leftism is rooted in empathy and the way he worded it was beautiful cuz like um a lot of people who do believe in more democratic or more liberal policies they're they're at their core they're made to make you see other people as human whether it be concerning like immigration or like pro 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 profit or like homelessness, those type of things. And it was a really like nice moment to think about. Share the VOD. Uh, if you go to Hasanabi's channel, it, I think the VOD is called <laughs> I need to find it later. Mag get Mag, I sh I sent it to you. What what was it called? It was something like Joe Brandon and <laughs> got COVID or something. <laughs> Um, I don't- I wish he made a YouTube highlight video of it, because that would have been a great video. Because, like, I wanted to share that moment with my friend, but, like, no- he doesn't have a Twitch. And, like, he refuses to watch, like, anything longer than 20 minutes. I have the link. What was the VOD called, Mac? That way I can find the link myself. Because if you send a link, you'll get banned. We're not banned. Timed out. <laughs> See, I told you. Hi, Crystal. Welcome in, on. 
Don't we love how me, a Omega Wall streamer, is promoting Hassan on me? The biggest streamer? <laughs> My god. Am I crazy? <laughs> Please time me up. Why? That goes on your record. Like all your mo all the mods can see like if you get timed out or some shit. You can't do the evil smile, but you can still peace I two smile. I'm <laughs> basic now. Exactly. I mean, Crystal, all you gotta do is sub for free the prime. Guys, it's free. <gasps> Come on! I had fourth. I could have gotten fucking third. Okay, last race. Okay, thank you, Mac. Now I can find the link. That's the exact name. I know. <laughs> okay, let me find the VOD now. Okay. Let's hope this doesn't brick my computer. Because anytime I open Twitch on my computer when I stream it, it goes to dog. Oh my god, stop. Hassan, shut up. <laughs> Wait, dude, isn't it crazy? Trump got raided last night. Kind of crazy. Thank you, Mac, for finding the name. Oh my god, pass. God, god, why is this fucking taking so long to load? View all. View all VODs. He psyched to un <laughs> Writing on comment! I found it! <laughs> okay, after- during the ad break, I'll send the link. <laughs> you almost got 15k channel points? Yeah, I think 15k was- I give you a sub, right? You're very close. Wait, I didn't do a prediction. Fuck. Well, damn. There goes our opportunity for Gamma. Yeah, because I think it takes about a month to earn 15k points if you're in-stream consistently. And I think that's a fair price to put a gifted sub at. I mean, I think it's funny because I've been into a few streams where, like, a gifted sub costs, like, 100k points. And I think I think it's funny. But I think 15k is reasonable. You gotta go? Okay, no problem. We'll see you tomorrow. Or maybe next time. Goodbye, DK. We'll see you. It was a pleasure talking with you. And everything will be okay. I, I know I didn't talk too much about what you said when you came to stream Deacon, because like I don't want to dwell too much on it, but it'll be okay. I'm glad you got to hang out here and cheer up a little bit. <gasps> Dodged it like a bro! Dude, imagine I get first. I go crazy. We graded Tom. <laughs> What's his view count? I mean, imagine if he streamed. I he would be, I think, the next top streamer. Cause like, even though Trump is a controversial figure, like his his rallies are very entertaining. <laughs> I mean, they're fun to make fun of. Like whenever Hassan does like a live react to a Trump rally, it, it's like such good content. Top four? Okay, top three is literally so far ahead. <gasps> no! Oh my, god. oh my god, oh my god. I can't, I fucking can't. How do I avoid not getting stuck by walls? Like, it. Uh, <laughs> I wonder what the rape message was. <laughs> Ha <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> okay, sorry, I just saw your message, Crystal. That's totally fine. I understand that school is starting up again, so it's not a problem. Okay, so here, here's the VOD we were talking about. <laughs> Brandon got COVID. Okay, the title kind of sus, but if you skip ahead to like 20-30 minutes in, he goes on to this really nice tangent talking about like how leftism is rooted into empathy. And it was like a really nice moment. Like I definitely, I, I can't bookmark it because like I said, like VODs will be deleted after a week now. Um... But it's just a really, be like, beautiful, like, the way he says it. Like, I wish I could clip it all, but he goes- it's a very long tangent he goes on. But if you guys have a chance, watch that part of the vlog, like, 20-30 minutes in. <laughs> Sorry, it's fun goofing on Trump for getting raided, like, honestly deserved. Anyway, talking about doing things you don't want to do, guys. We are two hours into stream, so it's time for me to run a few minutes of ads. But you can avoid that ad break by subscribing for $4.99. Just $5. To keep your coffee, get ad previewing all month long. Or two out of ten, fuck off. <laughs> or if you have an Amazon Prime, link it to do check out and get a free Prime sub. Yes, Mac, you are correct. I do have a new TikTok that I just uploaded. Thank you for reminding me. Seriously, I for I literally forgot. But guys, if you have to see an ad, no problem. Just go watch that new TikTok I uploaded just now. So guys, after the ad, we're going to play some Animal Crossing because we have to get ready for the next Meg Esports event. So chatter, stick around. Get some water, get a snack. We'll see some of you guys in a few. Negative 1 out of 10. Sag. Guys, go watch my new TikTok. Go like it, leave a comment. Now I have to watch the TikTok associating ads. Exactly. That's the pro strat. Even though you can't hear me say that because you're watching an ad. Big Sedge. But that's the way of the game. Okay, I gotta change my game cartridge. Oh, I gotta close the game first. <laughs> so authentic. I mean, I gotta shill, I gotta plug, you know. I gotta farm when I have you guys. You know, I'm a seller, but also not really. I think I posted a TikTok this morning talking about if I'll ever take a sponsorship or like a partnership. And I still feel the same way as I do now, because I think that clip was from June, so about two months ago. Um Like, I don't want to do an ad or a sponsorship unless I genuinely like the product that whatever it's selling. Okay, well, should we make our title? Oh, I know. Looks good on me. Thank you. <laughs> Not to be weird, but uh, no, you're, you're totally fine. I appreciate it. I know I saw this top and I was like, it's perfect. It's literally perfect. Because as I was shopping yesterday, I was telling my friend, I was like, you cannot let me buy anything black. Because I have way too much black on my closet. I need more color. Because I usually don't like wearing lighter clothes. Because I don't like how it makes my skin look darker. It, it's something that I'm, I have to get over. Um, but I think the color is cute. So thank you. Okay. So we're preparing for the... Oh, I didn't put a command. I spelled preparing <laughs> with an E. Preparing. Yeah, I got a little bit sunburned a little bit yesterday. And like, you weren't in stream at the start of stream time, but like, I saw myself on campus, like, it's here. There were Scoopy neck yesterday. But <laughs> I didn't notice it till I turned my cam on, and it was the funniest shit. I was literally like, peace, I do gas, but when I started stream. <laughs> but, I don't know. Cause like, I'm gonna wear tank tops when it's still warm enough to do so. Oh, um, I wanna clarify, I think giving compliments is fine. As long as you like, 
compliment a specific thing. So tie-ins, I really appreciate how you said like the color of the top looks nice. Like it's really nice when people point at specific things. Like I genuinely don't like when people say like, oh, you're cute or you're pretty. Like I think those type of things are very general. So thank you for being a respectful chatter. I really do appreciate that. Because we don't want simps yet. And if you're gonna simp, you need to give me money. <laughs> joking, not joking. No, I will never tolerate any type of harassment or unwarranted advances. Okay. Sorry, I'm changing this. Whoa, two leaderboards! Look, guys! Imagine. You can't focus on your hand when you point it? Yeah! Let's do it again! <laughs> okay, let's play the fucking game. <coughs> Hello there, everyone. Right now in Timbaland, it is 1.07pm on Tuesday, August 9th, 2022. Oh, wait, I need to show you guys what happened over the weekend. Now for today's announcements. We have a new friend on our island. Let's give a big Tiblin welcome to Ricky. Guys, can we get some peace to yos for Ricky? Not Aurora, but can we get some peace to yos for Ricky? <laughs> Ricky, on behalf of your new island family, welcome aboard. That's all for today. Have a fun day out there. So, as you guys can tell, we have a new friend on the island. Let me pull up the thread, actually. So, chatters. If you follow me on Twitter, you, you know this already. So, go follow my Twitter if you aren't. Go follow right now. So, on Saturday... Um... What is his name? I forgot his name, because he was a fucking loser. Um, Rudy moved out. So that means on Sunday was my one opportunity to search for her. Why are you guys talking about smelling bleach? I don't do that. <laughs> anyway. So that was my one opportunity to search for her. And I didn't go live on Sunday because I was fucking tired and I didn't want to do a surprise stream without telling you guys. So I did a little RP thread on Twitter. <laughs> um, so we're gonna we're gonna go through this thread. So Animal Crossing Frogs, eating good. Finally had Rudy move out. No one liked him anyway. Devil smile. Peace I to Eva smile. <laughs> Not gonna go live today, but tag along with me as I search for Aurora. Peace I to pray. Everybody, peace I to pray. Do you think I will find her in this thread? Even though we kind of got spoiled already, but do you think I will find her? Peace I to pray. Okay, so as we go through the day, you can see I started this at 2.07, okay? 2.07 is when I started Okay, first try. No way I would have found her first try. 2.20 p.m. Oh, this was actually mean. I got to it. Surely, third time we the draw. Oh my god, who is that? In the top left? Maybe? Clueless? <laughs> no. No, it wasn't her. Okay, so I got debated. Surely third time will be the charm. Clueless, dude. I think Clueless is so funny. And then I was wrong, aware. <laughs> you know, like, chatters, if you are on desktop, where is it? You got clueless and then aware, and it, it's like the funniest fucking combo. Anyway, so I was wrong. At 2.53 p.m., because, like, as you guys know, whenever we do, a, like, Aurora hunting streams, I usually will, like, harvest all the resources and stuff. Okay. Attempt number four. Another penguin? Is the game fucking with me? Okay, I saw a glimmer of hope, because look... I got excited because I think Aurora's top is like red. And I was like, oh my god, maybe. But nope. Another fucking penguin. But not her. How did I get two penguins in my first like five tries, okay? Actually unfair. So that was at 3.08 p.m. So at this point, it's been an hour. It's been a motherfucking hour. Okay? They look cool, but not her. 3.40 p.m. Because I think I was doing shit. <laughs> I got distracted. I was I was watching. I think it was Cuda Lee who was live on Sunday. So like as this was going on, I, no, not really. Fuck, Cutie Cinderella. She was doing a charity stream, so I was watching that. Okay, this is when like the RP was going a little bit too hard. Um, so 
Um, I'm starting to get frustrated. Don't worry about the axe. It's a prop. Peace I to evil smile. <laughs> so, 4.09pm. I have my axe in hand. So I was obviously trolling. Okay, I was trolling. Okay. 4.26pm. Maybe I can use this rock... Maybe if I use this rock, I can make a spear. See how I'm holding the vaulting ball and a stone? I think another joke I could have made is, like, I could have made a poaching joke, but I think that would have been a little bit too insensitive for Twitter. I don't think he could have handled it. <laughs> and 4.52 p.m. I think this guy sneezed on me. <laughs> so this one, um, this guy, since he's on the ledge, like, he kept on bowing up and down because he's walking on the ledge, so I did the bowing reaction, so it looked like we were both sneezing. I thought it was funny, okay? I am peak comedy. Okay, this is... I was gonna make, um, like, the five stages of denial joke, but the thread didn't go on for long enough to do it. Um, it's become more gray and cloudy as the searching has gone on. Is it a bad omen? And it's just me staring into the ocean. He got- he gave me COVID damn. But I'm vaccinated! Easy clap. Maybe I'll never find her. I didn't realize this till after, but it's literally the same pose. I'm facing the same direction. <laughs> Just me, like, in the same spot. Still, like, despair. XQC despair. At 6.08 p.m. So, guys, this is, like, four hours later. Four hours. I think... Oh, yeah. Because, like, that was 5.09 and then 6.08. I, I did chores and shit for an hour. That's why. It did not take me an hour to do one island. Okay. Am I meant to keep endlessly searching? And then it's just me sad. Sedge. <laughs> This is my favorite at the end. Okay. The fireworks aren't the same without her. It's been a long eight months of searching. Maybe I need to move on. This was so funny. Like, look at Bubbles. I'm not gonna look at replies. No way. <laughs> like, she's so excited to me just Big Sedge. Okay, and then the final tweet. The final one. Maybe she's lonely like I am. I know what to do. More penguins. Maybe then she'll feel at home if she sees familiar faces. That's it? From now on, any penguin I see, I'll welcome them to Tiblin with open arms. So guys, I have concluded. If I have every single penguin on my island, then the odds of me finding Aurora will be increased because there'll be less penguins in the RNG, right? Right. So from here on, anytime we get a penguin, we'll just take them home. Take them home. I do not care. Ideally, we should save for Aurora, but if there's less penguins in the RNG, then we're more likely to get her. Actually, true. Yeah, I thought of that. I literally thought of that on my last trip. I think I went on 10 trips. Nope. I had 10 tickets, and then I bought two more, so I think I did like 12. I think it's technically true. I think that's how it should work, right? I don't know. Peace I to pray. Um, just blew my mind. I know, because, like, the penguin we- I think the penguins we got- <clears throat> This one- We found him on a Aurora hunting stream. I know we did. Because everybody was like, oh my god, they're so cute! You should take them home anyway. I was like, no. And then this one, they used to live on the island. And then they left. So no way I would have invited them back. But if I got two penguins in my first, like, few attempts, then- I think that's the strat. Anyway, guys, that was that was little. Uh, that was my first attempt at RP. Was it good? Was it good? <laughs> oh, another thing that we should talk about when we have the Animal Crossing frogs here is I know people don't come at the start of stream. Is we have the next Meg Esports calendar event is going to be this Sunday at 11 a.m. PST, August 14th. You will be invited to the island and compete in a series of fishing competitions, turn bells, and potentially gold. There might be a grand prize of gold, so chatters be there. And like I said earlier, if people participate and you are a streamer as well, feel free and stream your POV. I'm totally fine with it. Just make sure you have a way to link back to my channel or put my name in the title. That'd be great. That'd be great. Because I would love to, for people to participate further. I think we be really good. The replies are better. I know, some of you guys have good replies, but I, I literally, I will never look through replies on stream. Um, because you don't know 
what people are gonna say, you know what I mean? And also, I sometimes get bot replies that are, are like, um... What's a nice way of saying it? Like, adult, um, after box? That'll have, like, links to bad things, so... I don't want to show replies on stream. I mean, I trust my regulars, it's just like... Everybody else is kind of sus. So I gotta be careful. I'm a bot, yeah. I think, okay, I think it's so funny when people reply to my tweets with my emotes. Like, just this a shitty screenshot of my emote. I think it's the funniest thing. It's so goddamn good. Okay, so we have... Oh, oh we were right by the mailbox, huh? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sure, you could call me Spud. Okay, so we have a lot to do today. We need to harvest our apples, we need to harvest resources, and get ready for the tournament on Sunday. Oh my god, crafting? Dude, I haven't talked to you in three days. How is that a long time? I mean, I get annoyed if my friend doesn't text me back by the end of the day. TBH. <laughs> So I can't judge too hard, I guess. The replies are funny? Yeah! So, chatters, if you like that thread and you want to see the replies, go check it out on my Twitter. Did you know that Animal Crossing is based on real? Real what? Okay. So. I think what my plan is going to be. Oh, okay. Got it, Titans. <laughs> okay. So. I believe what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a... I don't want to go into too many specifics, but I need to have an area for people to release their fish. Because, as we talked about earlier, people aren't allowed to bring fishing rods and bait, but they are not allowed to bring fish to the island. That's cheating. So, I need to have an area to where people can catch a fish and, like, immediately release it. So, I think I'm going to make, like, a large moat here. Um, I also need to have, like, a river section. So, I think we can do river fishing here. And then, I think I'll make this pond bigger. Because if we're gonna have, like, I think we might have, like, four or five people this time, depending. So, I need to have enough area where people can have enough space to, like, dispense bait and such. Okay, so I think, I don't need to make a river, I'll just make the pond bigger. And then I'll make, like, a moat here. Okay. I got it. So, let's make that first, since I just explained it, because I'm gonna forget. <laughs> you just bit your lip for the third time today? I hate when that happens. Like... It's like when you bite your cheek and you keep biting it, because it swells up. Why does your body do that? It's counterintuitive, almost. I mean, I'm sure there's some nice forums you can look at online cokes. <laughs> like, you don't need to necessarily ask people how to play, like, there's shit online. Hi, Vic! Welcome in! Hope we're doing well! 6,000 miles, holy shit! I mean, like, the game does baby you a little bit when you first play the tutorial, so. Like, I know, like, the main thing that people do is decorate, but I just like harvesting ingredients and foraging. 
Like, I know I should decorate more, but I just haven't gotten to it, is what I've been saying for, what, six months now? <clears throat> exactly, like, there's a lot of freedom on how you can play with this, the newest version of the game. Okay, let's get to digging. best way. <clears throat> I think I want to do a horizontal path. Oh, I hate terraforming. It's literally so annoying. Oh my god, I, <laughs> I hate this game. I hate this game. I mean, I don't mind it. It's fine. It's just terraforming is a pain in my ass. Not a good one. <laughs> Dude, I, I've seen videos of people like trapping villagers and I never do that. I don't know, it's funny for a gag, but I'm not gonna waste my time doing that. <laughs> you just got a switch a month ago, that's great. Switch has to be my favorite console. Why are you guys web facing me? I was making a joke, my god. Am I not allowed to make jokes? <laughs> Can you guys not handle a little joke? You haven't played the game in two years here? Island's probably dusty as all hell. Titans, you should play the game just to participate in the tournament. You should do that. Tax Brados for working on the island. Am I gonna get any grants? Maybe. It was a gross joke. <laughs> it was funny. You chuckled though. Exactly. All comedy. Yeah, that's what I like about the Switch. Like it's portable. Like handheld mode, like visually isn't the best, but it's cozy. It's comfy. And like I know I could game on my PC more or no, I don't have I have a I have a laptop. I don't have an actual PC. God! I hate this so much. I'm just trying to make a silly little moat. Okay, now I need to test something. Because what I'm gonna do... Okay, first I need to catch a fish. That way we can test to see if it works. I, I will leak one challenge. Because the challenges for the tournament are gonna be very similar to what CJ does. So I'm gonna be the... We want to be CJ on Sunday, okay? Oh, here. We got a fish? Yeah, I agree. Switch graphics should be better. And, like, another thing I fucking hate about streaming Animal Crossing is that the frame rate is dog shit. Like, I understand when you capture gameplay, um, it's not gonna be the best. Like, it's not gonna be as, um, get a frame rate as you're playing in person, but for Animal Crossing, the frame rate is, like, less than 30 frames per second, especially- Oh, we already have a- Okay, so is this gonna be a river or a pond fish? It's gonna be a pond fish, right? Wait. Do black basses- Wait, I can actually check, right?
river. What? How how is this a river? Huh? Wait, how how is this considered a river? Okay, so we need to test to see. Okay, we can release. Okay. So Because one of the challenges is going to be who can catch the most fish in X amount of time. So in order to make sure people are, um... Because, like, I have no way to, like... Like, for example, one person can be like, Oh yeah, I caught 10, but you have no way to, like, physically prove it. So I think what I'm gonna have to do is have, like, everybody stand on this line... And then release their fish one by one, and whoever releases the fish last has the most fish, right? So I think it'll have to be something like that. And I don't want this area to be big enough to where fish will spawn, so I think two tiles is the way to go. That's smart, yeah. Because, like, I know there was some ways to, like, hack the system with the cooking competition, I didn't figure that's what would happen. But I don't want people to hack the fishing one. The only hack you can do is bait big brain exactly what's the meaning behind my username um so back when i was little 13 year old megan i made an account on nickjr.com and i wanted my username to be peace out you know like peace out i'm out but that username was already taken so i was like damn it so I was like, what is the opposite of out? It is in. Therefore, peace in was born. That is my story time. <laughs> God, fuck, why? I hate terraforming literally so much. I don't understand how people like it. Okay, so let's see. Because we'll have people stand on the line and then one by one release their fish. There we go. And then as you guys release, I can stand here. That way we can see everyone. There we go. Okay, I think... I think that's good. Because, like, that full bar fits in there. We might need to make a second row, because... Let's see. This will fit probably, like, one, two, three, four... Probably six people. Yeah, we probably just need that. We probably just need... I think we just need this one row. Okay. Yes, what do you want, Bubbles? Oh no, that's Ellie. Oopsie. Is it possible you'd willing you'd be willing to buy a studio wall spotlight? I guess. Sorry, you guys are talking about PCs and I don't know literal literal shit about PC. <laughs> I don't know anything. CPU, GPU, all the same. <laughs> that's so cute, thank you. I mean it Oh wait, I didn't mean a bargain. Dude, she did it 50% off. Yeah, I think it's a cute story. And what I do like about my username is that it's pretty neutral. Like, it's not too femme, not too mask. So, I like it. Like, I, I like how he didn't make my username, like, anything too cringe. Okay, so that is made. The area in which we can release fish that people have caught. No, you're fine, Tynes. I think it's totally fine for chatters to, like, talk amongst themselves. As long as it's not, like, annoying. So you're fine. Because we talked about this before, but, like, I know I don't necessarily acknowledge every single chat message. Because I feel like, um, it kind of takes away from everybody's experience of the stream. And it also kind of forces people to read up, like, actually look at the screen and pay attention to the stream more. So don't feel bad. You're fine. As long as you're not talking about cringe shit. Okay, we have to get rid of this tree. Peace I-2-7. <laughs> Rest in peace, tree. Been your tag since second grade? Oh my god, that's so cute. <laughs> like, I didn't- I don't think I did any type of online gaming until I was in, like, junior high. Because my parents didn't let me use the internet until then. I mean, granted, because the internet is kind of scary. 
Like, I see, like, little kids on TikTok, and I'm like, what are you doing? You are literally giving yourself, like, brain cancer. <laughs> okay, not actual cancer. That's not what I meant, but, like, brain rot. I want to get, a, like, an actual PC, but I don't know. Like, I I'm... I am... Not pleasant. I'm fine with my laptop. Like, I don't feel like I need, like, a bulky PC just yet. Because I don't really have the space for it. PC2 L tree? Why are we... No. We were talking about conservation earlier. We can't be PC2 Ling the trees. PC2 cancel? What would the... Okay, what would that emote look like? Because you guys are giving me emote codes, but I need... What, what, what will it look like? Hmm... Maybe piece I do canceled could be me with like a clown filter. <laughs> or maybe I should make two pawns. Uh, I don't know if there's enough space. Or no, I can just I'll just make one big pawn. One very big pawn. I'll do that. You know in Kirby, how you can sit and fish? Can you do that in Animal Crossing? Like, can you place a chair or a stool and then can you fish or no? I think that'd be cute. I wish you could- yeah, it'd be cute, wouldn't it? Okay, we gotta chop another tree down. Play your games under a capture card, then you don't need a strong PC. True. I mean, this is actually not. You're totally right. <laughs> I I don't play PC games like ever. <laughs> so you're right. I have no need to buy a PC. Thank you for talking me out of it. My bank account appreciates you. <laughs> PC, you played yourself. Wait, chatters. If you are on um desktop, you should see Keck wait. <laughs> it, it's um. Capital K-E-K-W, and then wait. It's so good. I need to fix this shape a little bit. I want it to look more natural. like five people yeah okay let's see you know it'd be funny <laughs> no i'm not gonna leak i'm not gonna leak no no but we'll wait till sunday i have a strat to like fuck with people if you, if you were to play i have an idea of how you can mess with other people playing but i'm hosting i'm not playing this time I don't want to be cheating. Okay. <gasps> CJ is here? My guy. Dude, that wasn't in the announcements, was it? Okay, well, CJ's here then. That's great. Okay. So I made my palm bigger. And I think for beach fishing, we don't really need to prep anything. Pre-collab with CJ? I know, that'd go crazy, wouldn't it? If you have villagers- or not villagers- If you have visitors on your island, can they sell stuff to CJ too? Dude, on Sunday, should I go like full influencer mode and be just like CJ? Would that go hard? Okay. Guys, get ready. CJ here, coming at you. Well, I guess it's more like standing by you, I guess. <laughs> Anyway, ever since I started doing the YC Sports challenges, I've been trending in a huge way. It's so slick. Each time someone navigates a challenge, I offer to buy up their fish. I even paid premium. Guys, I wonder what CJ's sub count is out. How many viewers does he have? Hmm, he's like two. Hmm. I only offer to buy after a challenge, though. 
Keeps it interesting. <laughs> but everyone's abroad. I get way fresh fish for my live stream, and the lovely angler gets showered in bells. So, how about a challenge to use word style right now? Win and I'll make it R Wait. I almost said RNG. Ring and I'll make it- Wait. Win and I'll make a ring. And I'll talk you up on my stream. Oh my god, a CJ shoutout? I'm gonna get so many followers. Plus, my partner's into making sick collectibles if you want one. He's so talented. Yeah, I'm good for now. Because I need to focus on getting more bait. Because I don't want to run out. I mean, there has to be a Twitch account that's RPing a Seizure, right? Because I think the only type of account you can't have is you can't, like, impersonate political figures. I think everything else is fair game, though. Can we punch the CJ Raiders? No! He gave us a shout-out! We have to be nice to him. That'd be mean. <laughs> Here's the... the set for that one Twitter picture. I think it's so funny. Because I have a drink on the table and empty bottles on the ground. I thought it was the funniest gag. You've been drinking, I see? Yeah, it's my Animal Crossing character, not me, I swear. Okay, isn't it wild? I still haven't had alcohol. I've had plenty of opportunity, but it just doesn't seem appealing. Just me? Okay, I, I think I'm gonna decorate offline. I, I'll focus on that later. Okay, let's get to work. No more dilly-dallying. We are ready for Sunday. What's my preferred beverage? Um, if I go out, I usually get water. Like if I'm going to like a sit- like a sit-down place. Oh, I didn't mean to chop it down! That was a mistake, I got too into it. But if I'm going out to like get a drink, like, at a drink stand, I always get a smoothie or like a drink op or a fruit option, rather. I've been a fan of coconut water. Like, I had some last week. And it was pretty good. But apparently, coconut water is not as healthy as it, as they say it is. That was a downer. Like, I was about to buy a whole case, but... Apparently, like, the sugar content, even though it's low, it's still, like, a lot of natural sugars. And it's supposedly fattening, so... I don't need more of that. Am I an apple or an orange juice type of person? Can I say both? Because I think mixing them together was pretty good. But if I had to choose one... I think orange. But I like orange juice with pulp. Because it makes me feel like I'm drinking a smoothie. Because I think, like, apple juice, it's too easy to drink, so I'm more likely to drink more of it, and that's a lot of sugar. Mixing it, yeah, it's pretty solid. Pretty good. Apple cider? Sparkling apple cider? The best. Because I know, like, we don't... My sister and I, she's of age now. Um, we don't we don't drink alcohol. We don't think it's fun, but, like, an apple cider? Pretty bomb. Like, we always get it for, like, holidays. So, like, Thanksgiving or Christmas. Sometimes for birthdays, we'll get, like, an apple cider. Just, like, a cheapy $4 one. Yeah, no drugs here. <laughs> yeah, I know, like, I don't think I've ever been in situations where I've been peer pressured too much. Like, I've never gone to, like, a house party. I've never, like, gone out to go drink. Okay, I've never been to a bar either. I think that's another thing. Because, like, my friends respect that I don't want to drink. Am I afraid to try it or is just not appealing both? Like, I don't know what my personality will be when I'm under the influence. And I don't want to do or say anything I, I don't have full control over or, like, full cognizant, like, consciousness. And, like, everybody who does drink, they don't feel good the next day. And it's like, I don't want to feel more shitty than I always do.
Yeah, that's another thing. Like, you don't know how everybody else will act, or you don't know if anybody will take advantage of you. That's another thing that I don't want to have to worry about. Like, if I ever do choose to drink, I don't think I'd do it out in public. I think it'd have to be, like, at home. Because pre-pandemic, my friends and I were planning on going, like, to Dave & Buster's for my birthday. Like, I'd get hammered on my 21st, but then pandemic, so big sag. But looking back, I don't know if that would have been a good experience either. <laughs> It's one of those things where I don't think I'll regret not doing. expensive. I don't have money for that shit. <laughs> you know, I gotta save money for video games, not alcohol. Yeah, like, my dad, he's pretty good at holding his alcohol, but my mom isn't. <laughs> so, I don't know how I'm gonna be. Like, my parents have offered to have me, like, try and drink at home when I was of age. Um. But I'm like, nah, it's okay. I don't really want to. And, like, the rule in our house is, um, we always have to have one person who's able to drive and not be under the influence. So if an emergency does happen, then we'll be able to, like, get wherever we need to go. Because, like, if everybody in the house drinks, then we wouldn't be able to drive. So. Oh, my inventory is full. Okay, never mind. Hold. make a peach chair. <laughs> I got excited, but I didn't realize I had it already. That's smart, though, yeah. Yeah, that's why, like, I, I never feel comfortable going to, like, a house party. Um, because, like, if everybody's fucked up, like, what if something happens? Then you have nobody who's cognizant to, like, help take care of the situation. Supposedly, drinking is bad, but I'm not gonna research it. <laughs> Five head strat. If I don't look into it, it's not real. where drinking is fun because I'm 23 and I feel like most people who drink it's only in social situations which I just never put myself into people over 23 drink will be out of commission for a few days yep I'm at that age Like, I'm not gonna do something that won't taste good or won't be fun. Like, I know if I did drink, I would just be drinking, like, fruity drinks. Cause, like, I'm not gonna drink something that is gonna burn or not taste good.
Okay, let's see who our new friend is. I think it was Ricky, wasn't it? Ricky, I got a real important question for you. Oh my god, he's a... Who are the people who say, like, just asking? They're the debate lords. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Have you ever woken up in a strange island in a house full of boxes with all your things in them? No? Just me? I thought this was some kind of practical joke, but this sure ain't... But this sure is seaweed ain't bayside. Oh well, guess I did it again. How do you do, neighbor? Fine day, ain't it? It's a cute fella. He looks really mad, though. Look at him. He looks like he chugged, like, five warheads or something. Okay, well, I guess we're not talking to Ricky. Doesn't seem like my type of guy. Is Bayside's a friend island? I think so. So I friended my sister's friend. Because um, he'll come over to help me test, like, the um, no or the dodo code shit sometimes. So I think it is. If not, I don't know. That's what makes him cute? No, no. He's kind of weird, champ. It's kind of like the people who have the perpetual, like, kind of frowning face. Like, I, I genuinely think they're, like, nice people, but it's still kind of off-putting for, like, first impression. You know what I mean? Like, the only time he smiled was when I left his house. I think that was, I think that was kind of sus. Like, I didn't feel very welcome. That means he moved off their island? So, do I get all of my friends, like, reject villagers? Is that how it works? So, I think what it's trying to say is, if anybody's a real fan, they would get Aurora, friend me, and then they would kick Aurora, that way I get her, right? Right? Any real ones in chat? Type of one. <laughs> Type one if you're a real one. Tell me if you'd sacrifice Aurora for me. But look at our crop fields, they look so perfect. Oh my god. You big fish? Ah, damn. I love her too much, she's mine. Fine. She's literally free? No, you- Mac, you do not understand. If I buy her, that's human trafficking. And I don't advocate for that. That's illegal animal trade. That's unethical. I will never advocate for that. Oh, okay, I see. I see, Lemon. You buy Crystal? <laughs> we'll see you next time. Hope you have a good day, hon. You know, we have to find her naturally. That's the only way. If I find her by any other means, it'll be too easy. Then the struggle would have been not worthwhile. You can't just buy your way into happiness. Nuh uh. Okay, guys, what are your thoughts on I delete my island when I get partner? Like, Twitch partner. Wouldn't that be crazy? I mean, it'll be a long time before that'll happen. But I would be very sad if we had to say bye to Tibland. Because that's essentially what we did for affiliate. I 
I mean, it'll probably be a year or two before I even get to that point. I think it's weird how people will grind for partner. I mean, I think it's totally fine that that's how people want to conduct themselves. But... I'm very glad with the, I guess, audience I have now. I'm, I'm genuinely appreciative of everybody who, like, watches the stream or watches the, um, offline content. But... It's not that I don't want partnership. Like, obviously a badge is cool, a verified streamer is pretty cool. But it's not my long-term goal. Like, I know- you can easily look this up yourselves, guys. But there's specific requirements in order to get partnership. Like, that's cool. But dude, I would love to be a Twitch ambassador. I think that'd be amazing. I think that'd be so fun. But in order to be an ambassador, you have to be a partner, so... Sad. I know some people say you can't buy happiness, but you can buy a dog. You know, I think I'd be a lot happier with a cat. Controversial, but cats are better than dogs. Prove me wrong. You know, I feel like dogs are a bit too high maintenance, and it's like, I'm not gonna wanna... Okay, a big thing is, like, I don't think I could take them out for a walk every day. Like, physically, I don't know if I can walk every day. And that's a problem. But I feel like cats are more chill. And also, I think they're more likely to cuddle with you. Like, every cat I've interacted with at, like, a friend's house or relatives, like, they're always so cuddly, and I love them. You don't have to walk the dog, true. But I think a litter box is easier to clean than, like, picking up shit from your backyard, you know? And you can get, like, those self-cleaning litter boxes? I keep seeing videos of those, and I'm like, I want one, even though I don't have a cat. Like, it's so cool. Like, I think it's a good investment. Because the thing that I liked about our rabbit that we had years ago was that you can train him to pee in one spot. I mean, he missed a few times, but, you know. It's a lot easier to clean up. Litter boxes stink true, but if you get a self-cleaning one, then it doesn't. So, five head, big brain. You love both? See, my mom wants to get a dog, though. And I'm like, I don't want one. I'm like, buy a dog when you retire, or I don't want- when I don't live here. Easy. Okay, let's see. We have yet to check the clothing store. Why is the monkey sitting by a strip of water? I mean, he chillin'. Why not, you know? Okay, so chatters who are here, um, who's gonna participate in the event on Sunday? Type a 1 in chat. Um, type a 2 if you're gonna watch, and then type 3 if you wanna participate, but you're unsure. I wanna get an idea of who here might participate. <laughs> I know Lemon can't do it because they don't have a switch like Gaman did. Get a switch already, my guy. What color should I get? Might just have to buy the game. Oh, no, don't don't buy the game just to play with us. Like save your money unless you genuinely want to play the game. And scary is kind of funny though. I think this one's the scariest of the black eyes. Oh wait, there's white ones. I hate that. Yeah, I'll buy that one. Wait, there's so many sporty shades. Okay, I need to go back and buy the the wicked glasses. Because, um, no leaks, but may I might have another uniform for you guys on Sunday. No leaks. Nobody snitch.
Okay, I know I have pink. Okay, I just need to buy the blue. You already dressed up for Sunday? I mean, that's fine. You can- Outfits are optional. If you want to wear the Mega Esports fit, then that's fine. If not, then it's okay, I guess. <gasps> oh my god, look how cute that is! You have the fishing vest and Wicked Jade Zone? I mean, I didn't- I might have leaked, but... I think the Wicked Shades might be part of the uniform, maybe. I hope Dino brings the umbrella again. <laughs> the umbrella was such a stupid bit, but it was good, it was good. It was like the stupid silly bit, you know what I mean? Okay, any furniture today? You need the fishing vest? No. Wow. Guys, look at terrain. <laughs> oh, it's a tractor. <laughs> Guys, I'm gonna be a farmer one day. <laughs> no, I was I was obviously joking. I knew it was a tractor. Why, no, why'd you clip that? <laughs> Dude, I know it was a tractor. I'm not fucking stupid. I went to first grade. I can tell the difference. I was trolling. Sure, sure. No, I just am not... I'm not DOM. Even though I don't go out, even though I never see trains or tractors, I'm trolling. Okay, so I think we can go ahead and pause Animal Crossing today and run a few ads. <laughs> because guys, we are nearly three hours in the stream, so it's time for me to run a few minutes of ads. But you can avoid the ad break by subscribing for $4.99, just $5. Skip your coffee and get Amazon, or skip your coffee and get ad for viewing all month long. Or if you have an Amazon Prime link into your Twitch, you get a free Prime sub every month. Um, after the break, we're gonna switch gears to you laugh, you freaking lose. So chatter, stick around if you want some goofs and gaffs. Get some water, get a snack if you need it. We'll see some of you guys in a few. Guys, I don't think Lemon is ever going to learn how to clip, and that's a big sag. But you know, they just don't want to learn. They don't want to. They don't want to prosper. They don't want to succeed. Okay, so let's save the game. Let's not close the game without saving. Train out of 10? Huh? That makes no sense. I am still so embarrassed about the money shot. Like, I am genuinely so embarrassed. <laughs> oh my god, it was so stupid. Oh my god. It was very bad. See, this is why- this is why streamers need, like, a PR person. That way they can have somebody vet every single post they make to make sure it's not bad. I will never forget- oh no. Is that gonna be my cancelable offense? I'm really surprised nobody, like, goofed on it. Like, on the actual tweet. I'm surprised I didn't get any, um, adult actor bots either. Because, like, you know, they got keywords that they filter and try and find. What was the money shot? We did, we got a few diamond shots. So I actually did good sometimes. Okay, I'm gonna change my title now.
guys are so silly sometimes. I like when the chat is like this. When you guys just goof and gaff, it's the best. Okay, title's now changed. We're doing You Laugh, You Lose now. So, you guys know the rules. If I laugh, I end stream. If chat laughs, type what in chat and tell me what made you laugh. Okay, you guys ready? Dude, I hate mannequins. <laughs> this is the guy sitting yeah. in the back. Hey, yo! Huh? <laughs> Bro, look at the snow. Shoot. No! You're not. You're dead ass right now. Bon, ok, alors ça c'est bon, ça c'est bon. Les croûtes de fromage à la poubelle. Voilà, ça c'est fait. Après, euh, bon, bah voilà. <laughs> 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 the car come on go <laughs> man go on, man <laughs> dizzy you stuck in the arm of my pullover <laughs> is that a yes oh i see a snoot oh. i like to organize my stuff like i have my camera drawer right here okay and then i have my spiritual drawer right here which most people like don't know much about Okay. Then I actually don't remember what's in the box. Did hers get her cast off? I hope that was juice. Oh, yeah, uh, you already know how it is. Look at that. Drop, drop. Oh. Wait, look at the dog. Wait, wait, wait. on a mission. was too high.
god, I heckin' love 5 Minute Crafts. Cat's over here. Let's see how long before it takes them to make this his new house. Oh my god. Look, a cop car. Having ADHD in college is hard because I'll, I'll give myself like two hours. Oh my god. That was impressive. Dude, I would love to fuck around. Try a service job again, but I, I don't want to get fired. Bro, what the fuck? Why? <gasps> nah. Yeah, that had to be a string trick. That had to be. Okay, that was good. That was good. Anybody laugh? Anybody get got? I got close. The stupid. Where is it? Just one. <laughs> I got close. Okay, that one almost got me. Okay, okay. Stupid potty humor is an oldie but a goodie. Like you can never go wrong with a good bit of potty humor. Okay. So, let us say, we had no subs or bits today, big sad, but you know, it's fine. But we did have a chat to redeem, I'll write your name, on cute and stuff. So let me go ahead and get that second camera set up for you guys, and then some music as well. So. Okay. Okay. Oh, I was watching um, Extra Emily play We Fit the other night, and the music is actually so good. I didn't realize how good the We Fit music is. Uh, yo, there it is. Okay, so chatters. Uh, right now we're gonna do calligraphy. So we can have the sub tier gift, and I'll write your name. Mark, can you use channel points, and I'll write your name for free. Yeah, the car bit. So good. Like, I hate how much I love body humor. Like, it, it's bad. <laughs> okay, so let me go get the journals.
be nice. Yeah, Avi, be nice. Be mean if you guys are mean. Pink? Okay, cool. Thank you for redeeming Mac. I appreciate that. Metallic if possible? Ooh, I don't have metallic pens. Or I don't have metallic brush pens. I wish I did, though. I don't know, because, like, usually metallic ink doesn't do well if it's, like, a big pool of ink because it's pigmented. But maybe I can do gray or something instead. Sorry, I have to go through the redeems. I didn't check them off. Oh, Wolf wanted green, not orange. I think I checked. So, Chatters, if you want me to write your name, left to your gift, or use your channel points, just 100 points. Now, like I said, the Weave and music is surprisingly good. I didn't realize it was this chill. Let's do a light silver. It was nice. Thank you. I feel bad because I could tell I was in an off mood. So I'm sorry if I feel more, felt more like, I guess, not offhandish, but more on edge today. Like I said, I'm just fucking tired. Like. Oh, it was Mac who was pink. Oopsie. Because, like, I was going to skip stream today because I woke up feeling extremely fatigued. But then I was like, no, it's okay, I can do it. And like, I felt better once I actually started streaming. Because I know I say this all the time, but all my little chatters, all the lurkers, I know I do engage with the chatters more, granted. But it generally feels like I'm hanging out with friends, you know what I mean? I didn't notice, really. I, I could tell I was agitated. And like, not to bring attention to it, but you know that one guy that came in? Who had like in the appropriate user and they said hi in the chat room so that's the reason why that was a prime example why um parasocially of course <laughs> um that's a big reason why we have follower 10 minute mode because that person their account got reported within two minutes of because it said they made their account today got him quick yeah um i didn't report him actually Cause like you know how Twitch announced, um, like I think it was like two months ago at this point, to where um, they will automatically ban accounts that have like inappropriate usernames, and that was obviously inappropriate. So chatters, if you see any user with like a very inappropriate or like explicit or like sexual username, um, just report them. Like I know I reported and blocked the individual. Because when you ban people on your channel, they get IP banned. So if people make an alt, they will automatically get flagged in my mod view. That'll say like, ban evasion, this is potentially like an alt account. So chatters, if you misbehave and you make an alt, that won't save you. So, because it tracks your IP. What about v VPNs? Um, that is one way to work around it, but you know, don't be advertising that. <laughs> Just shh, shh, don't talk about VBNs. Don't give them ideas. <laughs> no. Like, I was obviously agitated by that. But, you know, it happens. People will come in to shit on me, but you know what that just means? Does that mean I have clout? Does that mean I have hay watchers now? Imagine. That'd be crazy. I mean, obviously the people who come in and say, like, sexual shit, those are just women haters. And, like, the tank top I am wearing today is a bit more... It's showy, but, you know. I think women can wear whatever the fuck they want. I just don't like when minors wear stuff that's more expository. Because, like, I think people can wear whatever they want, but you have to understand that. Society hasn't... Um, progressed enough to where um, people will be more accepting of you being able to wear whatever you want, especially like younger individuals, to where there are obviously predators online. So I would say if you're a minor, 
be careful what you post. Be careful what you wear to an extent. Like, you don't want people fucking screenshotting it. You know what I mean? I think it's tasteful. Yeah, I think it's cute. I think it's also because, um... What's a nice way of saying it? I don't have a big chest, is what we can say. Or what I can say. Don't point it out, because that's weird. Um... Like, I feel like if I had a bigger chest, then I would get more harassment. And it's unfortunate that that's the reality. But that's just how it is, unfortunately. And if you're old, don't wear young people clothing? I guess, yeah. We got Cokes. Is that it? Chatters. Last call, you can use your channel points and I'll write your name for free, or you can sub cheer or gift to the channel and I'll write your name. Peanut butter M&Ms, yes, those are pretty solid. I think my favorite M&M has to be. You right. <laughs> has to be. Pretzel ones. Also. Oh, wait, you can kind of see it. See that kind of glint right here? You can see a little bit of the rainbow chrome. Dude, I love Hollow Taco so much, dude. If I ever get clout, I, I, I would gladly sponsor, be sponsored by them. Or take a partnership. I would, that would go crazy. Because I use their stuff all the time. Hey, chatters, let's call, let's call. If I'm in a rich name, sub to your gift or use your channel points. Let's call. Fuck, I opened TikTok by instinct. Oopsie. Sag, no live today. Big sad. Oh yeah, you said you were gonna paint your nails silver too, right, Mac? Before you end, I need an idea for art. Do something for summer, because summer is ending. Oh, you went oh yeah, you said you were gonna get your nails did. That's nice. Okay, chat, that's it. All done. Give me a better idea. Are you saying my ideas are bad so that's not very nice <laughs> it was so mean please i too cry wait should we pose for that like <laughs> a more specific idea well i need to hmm How about you sitting on a patio watching the sunset and then you're sad and shit because summer's ending. If that's not a good enough idea, then fuck off. You said to guess. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Imagine Lemon becomes a hate watcher. <laughs> okay, guys. So, I think we can go ahead and end stream here. Thank you to anybody who showed up. Any chatter slickers? I appreciate you guys. Today was fun. Like I said, I was in an off mood. So, thank you guys for making my day a little bit better. Um, sorry, the music is surprisingly so good. What is going on? Um, guys, are you still mad at me for stealing the ring? Thoughts? I mean, I'm never gonna wear it. Like, look, it only it only fits on my pinky. There you go. But like, it matches the nails, though. My God, I'm never gonna wear it, though. I'm still no, I'm not stealing. We concluded it was not stealing. I did not yoink it off her finger, okay? My dad found it on the ground. Another great stream. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Um, before I head out, though, chatters, chatters, if you aren't already, go follow all, keyword, all of my social medias. I have a Twitter, Instagram, and a TikTok. So go follow them right now, chatters. Go follow my Twitter if you aren't already. I think most of you guys are, but go follow my Twitter. You'll see funny haha -ha tweets occasionally. I'm reporting you, no. No. <laughs> you don't have IG? Damn. I mean, IG, I think it's the most toxic social media platform like it just it's been proven to give you like mental health issues anyway chaz so i'll see you guys tomorrow we are going to do
Well, guys, if I get a crown, you guys get five subs. Handshakes, that sounds pretty fair. Also with donation incentives, so Oilers, oil me up tomorrow. Unless you don't have money, that's fine. Oopsie! <laughs> Um, so, schedule for this week is gonna be Fall Guys tomorrow, SMU Deluxe on Thursday, and then the bonus sub goal cookie decorating stream on Friday. So, guys, if you're following and you don't have goal like notifications, turn them on. That way, you'll catch the bonus stream on Friday. So, guys, I will see you tomorrow. I hope everyone enjoys the rest of your day. And that's all. <laughs>